Hello, hello, hello. We're here. We're playing Hollow Cure. I tab over to the right screen. It's been a second since I played this. It's been a solid second. Oh, we still need to go through all of the achievements. That's the like the main goal today. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Um, I still need to basically. Oh, I need to get through the character specific ones. Well, the characters, these ones show me like when do I? Okay. Well, I'm not worried about all that. I need to. It shows. Oh, it shows wins. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. How far were we? I think we were fairly fairly far, right? Oh, we're at Miko. We're at Miko. Yep. All right, we're at Miko. Oh, let me check to see if I have anything turned off, which I don't need turned off right now. Okay. Let's pull up. I don't think I need any of these. And I might, I don't know why. Oh, I need money. I need, what, a million? <laughs> I'm a little far away from a million, so I might as well max out some of my other things. Okay, don't have that one. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Nicole. Nicole G. What does she do? Swing at go hey? Go hey? I don't know how to say that. <laughs> correctly. <laughs> uh, that, uh, creates a burst of Sakura Blossoms. Okay. Create a zone around and go for eight seconds. Summoning hot flames that burn everything. Targets in this zone take 50% more damage. Okay. High speed character, it looks like. High speed character. Should we... I still need to beat four. I don't know if I want to try to do that on a new character, though. Oh. Are there any... Hold on. Achievements. Let's go through these ones and see if there's any... Defeat the boss of stage three hard. Okay, no, we're not doing that one. We're not doing that one yet. We're not doing that one yet. We have a million coins. That's a passive one that we're going to be working towards. Uh, deal of 10,000 damage. I need a plan for that one at Bubba hardcore have I not done hardcore should I try stage one hardcore it's not a bad idea I could have sworn I did that already why maybe I didn't maybe I didn't Complete the armory. Watch the credits to the end. Let's try to do um, stage one. Hardcore. difference between hard and hardcore because these just say hard i'm assuming it's the same thing but i just don't want to start it and then be wrong you know you know this kind of make me nervous let's let's try it if if it's too hard we'll just play normally increase attack area by 20 okay is it, it like stops where i'm aiming okay that seems fine. That seems fair. From any healing, Miko gains a four second buff that increases attack and speed by 20%. Any elite weapons are 10% larger. Okay. So she's a healing build. When Miko uh, conquers a target, Miko gains arrow uh, for four seconds with arrow. Heal two HP every two seconds. Each conquest resets the timer. Let's get this one first. When we get the second one, we already have healing then. Hey, 
AB language. Attacks have a 10% chance to create a Nia, uh, dealing 50% uh, damage and confuses targets, reducing their attack and speed by 30% for three seconds. All right. Is there like a, oh, yep. <laughs> I was gonna say, is there a visual representation? There is. I don't know necessarily what um, side stuff I need to grab for her, but I guess healing stuff would probably be pretty good. Swing twice is already doing good. God. Oh, the bombs! The bombs! Not the bombs! Get out of here. Get out of here. Delete. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, the tree! Not the tree! <laughs> Not the tree! <laughs> that is one way to die very quickly. Max out of current stuff and then I'll start worrying about everything else. Although, if, I guess if I start seeing certain items that are, like, healing-based or something along those lines, then I'll try to grab them. Oh, God! KFP! Uh. Yeah. Yes. Du -du -du -du. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, let's go! Okay, so far... <laughs> I was just saying that I got stuck on something. So far, it's not too hard. It being hard mode, but... We'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. The like, upper main weapon first isn't a bad idea. I have basically every single stat upgrade, so... At the very least, I'm not struggling with that. I'm going to use her um, special now to see how it works. Oh, it follows me. Okay, I, th I figured it would just be like a spot on the ground. That works too. Awaken. On hit, target takes 25% extra damage for one second. Cool. Cool. Ba -ba -ba. Sure. I won't look a... Get the horse in the mouth. Hello, Fed. I don't think my chat is working. I can see it on my OBS, but I can't see it on the live chat. I might have to fix that. Maybe I'd like a refresh to fix it. I'm not 100% sure. Just notice that. Let me, while I have a second here, make a refresh. It's weird that I can't see anything. There it is. Now I can see. Now I can see things. There we go. Awesome. All right. Perfect. 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 How you doing today? How you doing? I'm having an okay day. I went and got my car looked at because I had to get it inspected, and then they didn't. They couldn't complete it because they didn't have the parts. He needed to fix my car, and so I have to wait even longer. And I took the day, the day off, and I'm going to have to take another day off to do it. Which is why I'm streaming today, because I didn't work today. I'm like, I might as well stream. Because I have the time. I'm not overworked, like usual. So I can actually sit here and be like, oh yes, time to stream. Exert energy, which I have now for once. It's insane. Crazy, bro. Taco Dachi. So far, ain't too hard. Four minutes in. Feel like I'm kicking ass. Not a huge deal. Not a huge deal. Haste. I'm getting haste stuff already. Why? I should figure out what I want to pair. I mean, the axe, right? It's just, it's it's just perfect. <laughs> I'll find- I'll try to find the axe. It feels like I haven't gotten any items yet, though. 
Wait, do I have the item thing turned off? Like, I can't get any items right now or something like that. I don't haven't seen any items. That was an achievement I was working on before, so I'm not 100% sure if I have that on right now or not. Have we seen any items? Has it, or has it all been attacking stuff? I feel like I'm too far deep to end it and test it out. Uh, uh, if I die or if we win, which may be a little difficult if I don't have any items, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll change it if that's the case. I think I'm making it harder on myself for, for no... Yeah, I'm not seeing it. <laughs> no items. I feel like that might be happening right now. Ooh, Pog. Um, I mean, I might as well pick it all. Yep, definitely making it harder on myself than I need to, apparently. Don't want to restart. Ba -ba 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 -da. So yeah, when we're done with this one, I'm going to have to go back in and change up that. And at the same time, maybe also... I rebought the anvil stuff, but maybe I should turn it off because I need to not have higher luck when it comes to that. So I can get the other achievement. Where it's like, oh, fail a, a plus one to a plus two or something like that. I'm not going to be able to do that very easily with, with the stat bonuses, so it's fine. I mean, so far, we're not. it's not too hard. It's not too hard. So I'm not, like, struggling or anything. So maybe I can do it without items <laughs> on hard. We'll see. We'll see. So far, so good. About a quarter of the way done. How hard is this compared uh, to, like... Hold on, let me... What can the ex-potato be clapped? But, oh, my gosh! The Cosplayer! $5. Thank you so much. I don't know who you are, but 99% of gamblers quit... Right before they're about to win big. Keep on gambling, gang. Also, screw the Department of Transportation. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> thank you. Oh, I can get the ex-potato in the lava bucket. I feel like that would make sense. Okay, so I'm going to... Hold on. Let me eliminate. Thank you, the Coase player. We appreciate it. Let me grab the potato. Now, I need to make sure I have an open slot. <laughs> That's, I might walk myself into not getting any extra things. Oh my god. Fucking fire, thank you. I want to read the long chat, but I can't. <laughs> I have to pay attention. I want to get my next upgrade, I'll read it. Oh, that's right, so wrong. I love it first. Get, I try. Okay, hold on. I don't want to distract myself. I don't want to waste my time by losing. Because <laughs> I made it harder on myself than I needed to, so I don't... I don't need to distract myself. I love reading chat, but it's so hard. It's so hard when a bullet hell game like this. Oh my gosh. Thank you for the super chat. Oh wait, there's like a like on the super chat. Did you, can, can you like super chats now? That's crazy. Dupe Live is just short and raw, so I love it. Uh, first you get a redneck playing electric guitar uh, next uh, to his cat. Next to some femboy atheist <laughs> having religious debate. Jesus, and then we are here with VTubers. It's crazy. It's it just throws things at you. You get whatever you whatever you get. I love it though. Uh, let me eliminate bomb. Again, I don't want to run out of things. Oh god, I wasn't I wasn't I wasn't moving. I wasn't moving. Oh, lava bucket. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. 
Oh, we can combine that with a potato. I just gotta max them out real fast. And then we'll be looking pretty. By the way, how is the, um, like, the ratio between gameplay and me? Because right now, it's, since it's vertical, it's, I can only really do so much. But I just made the full thing visible, which makes the gameplay a little smaller. Um, it's a little hard to tell when I'm just looking at it, like, on my computer and not necessarily on my phone. But is, like, everything visible? Should I, like, zoom in on the gameplay a bit or, or something? Because when I was playing Minecraft, I zoomed in a little bit. Because I figured you don't necessarily need to look at the sides, but if I zoom in on this, then you'll you'll miss a bunch of stuff. So I wasn't sure. Gaming on vertical is complicated, <laughs> I guess. On the computer side, it looks fine. But who knows? Oh god. Oh god. Still, you know what? Without having any items, I'm still doing all right. Like, we're just, we're just outputting a shit ton of damage, which is the main thing. Like, her main weapon, Nico's main weapon, is pretty strong. Plus, I'm gonna heal and everything like that, so it's not like... It's super difficult. So once I get a... Uh, a collab, hopefully... Uh, things will be looking even better. Even better. Might as well use this. Ow, ow, ow. I'm hurting myself, apparently. It's potato. Potato. Nice. Oh, it's just giving me the right things. That's what you like to see. That's what you like to see. Experience. Love to see it. What game is this? This is Hollow Cure. It is a Hollow Life fan game where a lot, not all, but a lot of the girls in Hollow Life are in this game. It's it's a ba it's a basically a vampire survivors like but with Hollow Life characters and their uh, their like fan uh, mascots and stuff. You fight as them. It's fun. It's free. It's completely free. There's no tra microtransactions at all. You can find it on Steam if you want to play it. I'm not sponsored in any way, but it's just a really fun game. Even if you don't like Hollow Live and stuff, it's just fun. Good game, well developed game. And I am a proponent of good, well developed games. Let's go. Almost at the halfway mark around. Still need a bit more in the lava bucket before I can get the next collab. I wonder how the... Because this is the live, vertical live streaming is fairly new, it's especially for me. I've only done it a couple of times, but I wonder how the view counter works specifically. Because I'm watching the... Um, number of views rise, like how many views it's the, the live stream has gotten, uh, but the concurrent is roughly the same. Oh my god, there's two! There's two bosses! Oh my god, there's two bosses! Why would they do both? Why would they do both? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, I'm doing good, Phobia. How are you? Had a long, a bit of annoying time today with my car when I was getting it serviced, getting it inspected. So I just had to wait, and then they did nothing for it. But other than that, good day, chill day. Had off work today. I took off work specifically. Fuck it. That's good to hear. Well, no lava bucket yet. Oh, they're both at seven actually. So I just need the anvil. I 
to strengthen. I don't need the upside down one that's gonna mess me up a lot. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, let's max that out. Let's go! Me comet! Well, not me comet, it's me something. Me potato, I don't know. Okay, so now I need to grab something else that will make me a collab so I can either get the axe. Um, I'm not sure what the other things are. I'll have to take a look at them when they show up. God, this music's such a banger. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That was an accident. That's definitely not going to bite me in the butt later, huh? Definitely, definitely won't. Uh, I can get the glow stick. Yeah, let's let's get the glow stick. Might as well. It's right there. I feel like the, the BL books were the first thing that I got, and I never even found the axe. As one additional shot to ranged multi-shot weapons does not affect. I'm mostly melee. I'm pretty sure. Let's just strengthen the others. That, those bombs look like a penis. Did anybody else see that, or is it just me? Dude, I just really wanted to point that one out. So everybody's aware. I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to get to the next a collab. I mean, we got like uh, eight minutes left, but still, I don't know. You know, thinking about it, I don't know what the end boss is going to be for this, because we already saw Small Ame. And Small Ame is the end boss in the, in the regular stage one. Are they going to throw, like, Achan at me now, or something? Are they just going to use other bosses, or are there more unique bosses that I have not seen? I'm not sure. Not 100% sure, but that's fine. Go sick. Give me. Ba da ba. Once again, not too bad. I'm I'm kind of surprised how not hard this is without any items. You know, I did it completely on accident, but I don't know. It could just be who I'm using making it easier, or I'm just a god at this game, that's also a possibility. We can't discount me being a god. God gamer. And don't you forget it. Ha. Ah. No. How are you supposed to avoid them when they're on the entire screen? I know they're like... Not going at the same time, but like still, I pay super close attention to it. Otherwise, you're not gonna know which one was which. That's fine. It's fine. God gamer. I'm just complaining to complain. You can't be a streamer without complaining. You know what I mean? It's in our blood. We just need to hate on everything we see. Become controversial go viral for being controversial. Controversial. I don't think I'm saying that right. Am I saying that right? Controversial. It sounds wrong. It sounds like I'm saying it wrong, which is weird. I need to take a drink. Ah. Ah. Mm, green tea. Good for the soul. Good for the mind. Good for the body. Oh, sick. Ow. Let's go, baby. Okay, so I've been thinking about um, changing how I do my, like, recording sessions. Because um, for the last couple of weeks, what I've been doing is recording everything for the next coming week on Sunday. So that means I, at minimum, have to make, like, five videos 
five to six videos on, on just Sunday uh, because that's the only day I have off of work. So I'm like, oh, I'm working six days a week. And then I take my rest day to also work. <laughs> work and make videos. So that's been kind of draining on me because it's a bit all at once. Uh, but when I'm done working, I don't want to sit down and record for a very long time. So that's just kind of what I do. So now I'm thinking instead, uh, instead of doing everything on Sunday, once I get home from work, um, well, I'll probably eat dinner, but after that, I will uh, record one video, right? Or just one video. Make it, edit it, upload it. Release it early for members, except for the anime videos, because that's on a different channel, and I don't have members on that yet. Uh, and then from there, I'll get like super far ahead because I make one video a day and I don't upload one video a day. Or I don't public one video a day, rather. So I'll slowly become ahead. And I'm not burning myself out because I'm only doing one video a day instead of seven. And that way, hopefully, it's a bit easier on me. And then I can just take Sundays off. Or I can just... I died. Hmm. Well. I feel like I just died randomly. Okay. Well, let's change some of the shop. Uh, what's the item thing? Is it in other? Yep, that's it. Okay. Marketing? Oh. And now we got our items back. Uh, should I, I should probably get rid of the hammer thing. Increase the chance of success during chance wins by 3%. Per, I mean, it doesn't add a lot, but I need to get rid of it regardless. That way I at the very least have the opportunity to fail. I need the opportunity to fail. I feel like we weren't doing too bad. Um, on stage one hard. So I'm going to go back to doing that. And now that we have items, it should actually be a little easier. Now that we have the ability to have items. Oh, Halu? I don't know about that one. <laughs> I don't know if I should get a Halu right yet. Doesn't seem like a smart idea. Gear is pretty good just normally, so I'm gonna grab that and snag that right there. More uses of anvils would be nice. Uber sheep. Uber sheep. I mean, it's more healing, so I'll take it. It's a bit reliant on finding the items on the ground, but. That's not a huge problem. It, it, it's, it's more healing when her kit is based around her healing herself and getting extra stuff with that, so I might as well, you know? Makes sense to me. If I max it out, then there should be, like, a decent amount hitting the ground anyway, so... Nice. Oh, no. Come on. There's a post here. There's a post. <laughs> Why do I keep centering on the objects on the field? Uh, increase haste by 40%. All attacks deal point damage. I have a 10% chance to apply a second attack dealing. I mean, that sounds pretty good. I got that. I attack faster, and there's a chance that they could hit twice. That sounds pretty damn good. Oh, is this lifesteal? Yes! That's probably the best stamp we could have gotten. That's the best stamp we could have gotten. That's fantastic. We'd love to see that. Love to absolutely see that. 
Uh, so yeah, uh, what I was talking about uh, with my recording schedule. So I think I think the plan is I'm gonna do one video a day, recording after I'm done at work, so I don't uh, burn myself out. And then on Sundays, hopefully, uh, I'll just do a live stream. I'll do like a quick, nice two-hour live stream. Have a good time. Because that won't burn me out because I won't be recording for five hours. <laughs> five to six hours. You can just chill, have a live stream, play some games, maybe do some reactions. I think it'll be a good time. Like this Sunday, maybe this Sunday we'll uh, catch up on Hollow Cure. A cure. <laughs> we'll catch up on um, Hollow Gra. Very similar names. <laughs> uh, gain max. HP increase the up and uh, I don't want to lose HP. Just do the awaken. That makes the most sense right now. But yeah, maybe this Sunday, uh, keep an eye out. We'll uh, catch up to Hollow Gra. I think that one we'll, we might do. I don't make. Well, I said I wouldn't make video. I guess I don't need to make a video out of it. It would just be a live stream. I'll probably react to it live, and then um, afterwards it'll be locked behind the, the member paywall. So you can watch it live without being a member. But if you want to watch the bot afterwards, you'll probably need to be a member. Oh, let me... I have all these healing things, and I don't even have the ability that lets me get the healing buffs. I should pay a little attention to that. <laughs> mm. I already have the goggles, so this would just help that too. Oh! Oh, Pog! Gain 30% crit while your aiming direction becomes slightly unstable. Well, that's fair. I'll take it. You know what? This is funny. It's not like this weapon is like super straightforward anyway. It does like a half circle and ends on the thing, so... This seems fine. Mm. Gain 1% experience per 2 seconds. Uh, when HP is full, XP rate slowly increases to 2%. Eh, maybe not right now. I should really max out on my abilities. I might need to start getting more weapons, too. Because I've got a lot of items, but I don't have any other weapons besides my main. I'm still doing fine. I haven't had too many issues. I'm dealing a lot of damage and I'm attacking very quickly. So it's not the worst thing in the world. Let's get the BL book. If my aim is weird, then I might as well get things that I don't need to aim, you know? I'll definitely help things out in the long run, so. Secondary abilities and all that jazz, you know what I mean? Not bad, though, not bad, though. Ba -da, ba -da -da -ba -da. Mm. Yeah, let's continue maxing that out. Okay, so I really want... <laughs> uh, I really want to buy Helldivers too And play it. But it's a game that I don't necessarily want to play without my friends. And none of them own it. <laughs> or want to play it. So I think I might wait for that to go on sale, and then I'm going to pick it up. Because I don't necessarily want to drop $20 on a game I'm not 100% about. But it looks like a lot of fun. It's something I definitely want to play. I just feel like I'm missing out like on the hype in the early early days of the game. Because it looks like the developers are like adding so much stuff to the game early on. And it looks like I'm just missing out on everything. So I'm having a lot of FOMO. <laughs> I'm having a lot of FOMO. Let's see if I, uh, fail an upgrade. Nope. Is it- can I fail between one and two? Is that what it is? Nope, that didn't work. I've got more chances. I don't know if I have to do it just on my main weapon. So if I upgrade other weapons, it might- might count for that too. We'll have to keep an eye out for that. And do that. Oh my gosh. Ooh, Psycho Axe. 
now. Oh, whoops. Let me do that. I'm just actually just going to max this out. Now we can work toward a collab. Toward a collab. And have a jolly good time. But yeah, I, I have it like a massive FOMO. Because I'm, I'm missing out on like all the Helldivers stuff. So maybe I should just suck it off and just play it. Buy it and play it. It looks like fun. I also have a lot of anxiety when I'm like on voice chat with people I don't know. So I basically never... I do not... Okay, well... <laughs> Sorry. Toot, toot, toot. Oh, Yago! Yago! So, playing with games with people I don't know is a little difficult. So, like, oh, having an open voice chat in Helldivers isn't, that doesn't sound like the funnest thing to me. But I kind of want to do it, because I feel like there's going to be a lot of people role-playing. And I kind of want to get into the role-play. And if we're both, if everyone's just role-playing, and we're all playing characters as Helldivers and stuff like that, then it might be a pretty good time. Because I feel like I don't need to necessarily know people for that. And honestly, it's probably more awkward uh, to role-play that with just friends. Make it a little easier with strangers. So, who knows? I'm kind of talking myself into buying it right now, if I'm being honest. It sounds like a fun time, and it's something I want to do. Maybe I should. The other problem is there's too many games. I've been playing too many games. I still need to continue playing Persona 3. I haven't touched that since my last stream. And I don't necessarily plan on streaming it again. But I want to play it again. At the very least. And it's going to leave Game Pass eventually. So I need to actually play it and beat it before it leaves Game Pass. Because I don't own it. I just play it on Game Pass. <laughs> I need to actually play that game, but it's like a 150-hour game. And I've only put like three, 30, no, no. I was going to say three, which is wrong, and then I was going to say 30, which is also wrong. I put like 10 hours in the game. I got a lot to go, but it's fun, and I don't, I need, I need to not miss out on it. I just want to get home from work. I don't, I'm too tired. I want to passively watch like TV or something and not like actively play a video game. You just hoard games and not play anything. That's so me too. I have so many Steam. I, I, I have a lot of Steam games. I'm, there's plenty of people who have way more than me. I probably have like 200 something, maybe 300 Steam games. I've got a, like 50 to 70 PlayStation games and 50 to 70 Xbox games and maybe like two dozen Switch games. I haven't played most of them. I just keep buying things. And now that like I've also buying Game Pass right now. So I have all those games. I have all of those games that I'm not playing. I have a thousand PlayStation games. <laughs> My gosh. I feel like if I focused and only had like one system, I would probably have something wrong in that. I just bought everything. And if I had like PlayStation month, the PlayStation Plus monthly or whatever it was um, for years, I would probably be way up there too. A speed by 20% in addition. Increased damage of melee weapons by five. Okay, that sounds pretty good. It's the Steam games with zero hours played. Same. I maybe one day I should go through all my Steam games and just play them. Just play them. I have so many games I don't even remember. I started Final Fantasy VII Remake Part One well over a year ago. I own it and I have not played it. I think it. Gave, I think they gave it to us monthly. I free uh, one time and I was like, oh, hell yeah, I can finally play this because I've never played Final Fantasy VII like, at all. Um, so I'm like, I'll play this eventually. And then I didn't. Now everyone's like raving about Rebirth and I haven't even played the first one. Did PlayStation Plus since the PlayStation 3 came out? Oh my God. I never had PlayStation Plus until the 5 came out. I didn't even have a PlayStation 4, to be fair. Well, I had a PlayStation 4 for like a year. I bought it used. Um, and then it broke. So, <laughs> I didn't get to use that for very long. And then when I got my PlayStation 5, I got the PlayStation 5 when they were still really, really hard to get. 
GameStop happened to have a shipment in and I got it. Um, but <laughs> the only way I could buy it through GameStop is if I bought a bundle. And there's one of two bundles. Uh, the first bundle was for, what was it, $700? And you get the PlayStation plus like five or so games or something like that. And none of the games interested me. Maybe like one or two, but I don't really remember what they were. Um, so I'm like, I didn't want to do that. And then the second bundle was like $800 and you get the PlayStation 5. These are, this is the disc version, by the way. Um, you get the PlayStation 5 and you get like a year or maybe two years or something like that of PlayStation Plus. And then you also get like $100 of um, just like PSN credit so you can buy your own games. So that's the copy I got. So I spent $800 to get a PlayStation 5. Um, but because of that, I got a lot, a lot, a lot of games. A bunch of games I missed out on. My backlog for the uh, the PlayStation 5 is just all the PlayStation 4 games I missed out on. And then I'm now backlogging all my PlayStation 5 games I haven't even started playing. It's all over the place, man. It's all over the place. My main problem is I, 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 I get tired, and when I'm tired, I get tired after work. And when I'm tired, I don't feel like playing video games because it's too active. I just want to not do anything. So what I've been doing is watching Succession for the first time. It's so good. By the, guys, Succession, so good. You should watch it. <laughs> I hate everybody in the show. 10 out of 10 show. <laughs> well, that's what I've been doing. Because it's easier just to sit down and not play video games, so the backlog keeps going up and up and up and up. Which, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I can't use Chromecast or with the YouTube Shorts format, so I guess I'll bid you farewell. Oh, sorry to hear that. I didn't know that was a, that was a problem. Oh my god. There isn't that good of a selection of exclusives on PS5 compared to PS4. I think there's some bangers, but um, I am vibing with a lot of more PS4 stuff than what came out on the PS5. I, the, the bottleneck of the um, pandemic really shortened some games, um, which is why we had like a bunch of bangers last year. But uh, a lot of games got stalled. So some games that probably could have come out earlier are, are just not out yet. PS3 came out 18 years ago. I'm 22 now. Oh, fuck. Where's the time going? Uh, <laughs> I remember getting my PlayStation 3. It was a chonker. I didn't get the um, like the original PlayStation 3. I got it when the Slim came out, which is still really big. I didn't realize what I got was the Slim until like years and years later because the thing was so fucking big. And then I saw someone with a regular PlayStation 3. I'm like, what the fuck? That's huge. For some reason, every single time a new PlayStation console came out, I bought the Slim and not the original. I was always years behind. Like, I got the PS2 Slim. That was my first PlayStation console. And then I got the PS3 Slim. I was always a halfway a generation in. And then when I got the PS4, it was like two years before the 5 came out. I did get the 5 pretty soon, comparatively. Uh, it was really hard to get it because of... Uh, them never being in stock this is the first generation where i got every console as soon as they basically came out you have the xbox i have the playstation 5 oh, what do i what do i want to get i need to get the i need to collab oh hold on i should probably do the super collab so i need spider cooking what, what's the other thing Lava bucket. I need spider cooking and lava bucket. That's what I need to get. So yeah, this is my first generation of consoles where I was able to afford everything. So I got the PS5. I got the Xbox Series X. And I mean, I've had the Switch for a while. Um, but I'll, I'll get the successor of the Switch whenever that comes out. Probably next year. Um, I do kind of regret buying my Xbox, though. Because I have a PC that I could just play most of my Xbox games on that. 
So I feel like I didn't necessarily need to buy the Xbox. Although I guess at the time when I bought the Xbox, uh, oh, lava. Nice. Um, my P I didn't have the current PC I have and it was just an okay PC. So the Series X was still technically more powerful. Now that I got the, the stronger PC that, that well outperforms my console, I'm like, why did I buy this Xbox? I can play basically everything on my PC through Game Pass. So it feels kind of worthless, but it's fine. Although I did find a use case. I play, I was playing Siege a little bit, like a month or so ago, with a, with a group of friends on like Discord. But they all play on Xbox, and I can't play on PC with Xbox players on Siege because PC players would have such a huge advantage that they just it's not even allowed. Um, so I'm like, well, I can play it on my Xbox. <laughs> so, I mean, in that instance, it worked out pretty well, I would say. So not bad at all. But there, there, I still have use cases, and obviously my PC is in my uh, in my room and not in my living room. So my Xbox can just live in my living room. And then I can chill out there, play Xbox games. But at the same time, there's xCloud. So I could just plug in my laptop and play high, high quality games that way. It still works. PSX might come in three years. I mean, that kind of makes sense. I mean, what did the PlayStation 5 come out in like 2020, 2021? It's already 2024. So couple years makes sense. I just got around to finishing all of Percy Jackson in one go and it's amazing so it's much better than both of the movies. I still haven't. I've only seen the first two maybe three episodes. I need to go back to it. I need to go back to it. I think this is why MS is also kind of slowing their innovations of consoles. I agree. I don't think it's necessarily needed as consoles when they have the, uh, the Play Anywhere initiative. Like, if you get a strong PC, there's not really a reason to buy an Xbox. Uh, I'll take all these, yeah. Which is not a huge deal. I, I like that they have the X and the S, though. There's There were reports and stuff that, like, the S is, like, it's super outsold the X. Because it's just cheaper, and it plays all the same games, or... A lot of people who don't necessarily care about having 4K graphics are like, yeah, I'll buy the S. It's cheaper and I can play the games. It makes me feel like, oh, maybe I should have gotten an S instead. Because if I'm just using it to play games on my TV in the living room, then that would make a bit more sense. Although I am one of the people that is like, I want the best graphics I can get. Which is why I opt to play on my PC more than my xbox but it's it's still nicer to have it oh my god you're just like me because i i didn't have a pc so i got an xbox and then i got my 4070 pc and now my xbox stays in the box underneath my desk that's 100 percent me i also have a 4070 100 <laughs> percent. we are the same person 100 <laughs> percent. oh all right I don't think I want the sausage. It's free though. I got it. Don't need that right now. Yeah, my backlog keeps growing and growing and growing. Which is fine. But it sucks. I really should have taken advantage of the pandemic a bit more. Because during the pandemic, I had a job, but I was part-time. And I only worked once every other Saturday. I really should have been, like, really beating into my backlog and also streaming a bunch. But I just didn't do it. And I had, like, two years of that. I really should have, and I regret not doing it. The... 2020 and uh, I would say more 2021 um, and a bit into 2022 were like some of the best years of of like live streaming for me and I did not take advantage of it when I really really should have that's when everybody was home and that's when VTubers were like popping off so I was, I was getting like 100 people watching my live streams and there was that one time I had 500 people watching it's fucking crazy. 
I really should have capitalized on that when I did streaming like every day. But I'm too lazy, apparently. And I did, you know, to be fair, I did also work into my backlog of gaming a little bit during the pandemic. Uh, I played all of The Last of Us 1 and 2, like Ghost of Tsushima, and uh, God of War, the, uh, the reboot that came out in 2016, 2018, one of those. So I, I did get some stuff done. Now that I work uh, six days a week, I'm tired all the time. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to play video games. Don't go. Don't get old. Don't be an adult. Don't get a job. <laughs> I mean, get a job. You need a job. That's very important. So get a job. But <laughs> don't. <laughs> don't become old. It was the boom time, yeah. Oh my god, everything is red! <laughs> How do I get away? <laughs> Too late. <laughs> oh my gosh. I need more stickers, because I really don't want this toot anymore. <laughs> it's so annoying. <laughs> Oh my god. The next video game I need to work on is Persona 3. I just started. They need to be. It's just gonna take a while, and I'm dreading the amount of hours. Like, I know it's gonna be a good game. Everything that I've played of it was fantastic. It's just like, oh my god, so many hours. Once I'm done watching Succession, which I have an episode and a half left of season four, which is the last season. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, my, when I get home, my relaxed thing is gonna be Persona 3. I need to sit down and buckle down and play it. Because I know I'm gonna like it. I know I'm gonna like it. Oh. Uh. Didn't Kayla play with the toots for like five hours? I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. When when Doki was playing the other night, I popped in and she was playing with the toots and it was, she was driving her crazy. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. <laughs> Having it just there in the background is a bit much. Oh. Oh, silence. <laughs> Silence has fallen. Oh my god. Speaking of silence, Doctor Who. I, I was binging Doctor Who with my roommate. I've already seen it. Not all of it. Um, but I was showing it to him. We're currently up to the 12th Doctor. We're, we're getting close to where I stopped watching. And I only stopped watching because I just no longer had cable, so I couldn't watch it when it was going up. I didn't have BBC anymore. I watched it every single time it premiered, um, starting with the, the 12th Doctor, I think. I think the 11th Doctor was where I started watching, and then the 12th Doctor is where I caught up. But once I no longer had access to the BBC anymore, I just kind of fell off because I had no other way to watch it. Then I recently got HBO Max. I'm like, oh, I'm going to rewatch this. And I got my re roommate to rewatch with me. It's great. Oh, when did I grab? Did I just grab the Wamey Water? When did I, why did I do that? Did I get in a box or something and I wasn't paying attention? That's fine. I'll take it. Get the glow stick. Uh, be able to look out. Oh, for the water, it's just the glow stick. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to have to find the glow stick then. That's fine.
Oh, this is something, something else I can combine the whammy water with that I don't have, but I'm not sure what it would be. I do not know. Uh, where was I? Yeah, Doctor Who. So I kind of fell off on Doctor Who a little bit. Uh, just because no BBC. But since I uh, recently got HBO Max, which is how I'm watching Succession, we've been binging through Doctor Who. He loves it, which is great because I love it. I have something to watch it with now. I, I guess I technically watched it with my sister and my dad before. But when I stopped living with them, <laughs> I didn't have anybody to watch it with. So I'm glad he enjoys it. And, and then once we get caught up to where I left off, then we can enjoy the new things together. Because I haven't seen anything of the 13th Doctor. Uh, but I heard, <laughs> unfortunately, the writing is really bad. Even if she's really a really good Doctor, it's just the writing sucks. So I'm not looking forward to it, but I'm hoping, at the very least, she can save it. And then from there are the specials. I'm not going to spoil anything, but I'm very excited about the specials. And then the reboot, a restarting of Doctor Who with the 15th Doctor. Oh, no, no, no. The 15th Doctor. I'm very excited about that, too. I guess, I guess it is like a soft reboot because they're calling it season one now, which is interesting. Just get this card. I'm excited. And I know I said I'm going to try to play more video games and not just passively watch things as much. Uh, but uh, we only want I only watch it with him and our schedules aren't synced all that much. So we only have a couple hours out of the day we can watch it. So I still have plenty of time to play Persona. <laughs> so it's not like a huge deal or anything. So I'm going to finish Succession tonight, probably after the stream, if I have time. And I'll start playing uh, Persona. He might want to watch Doctor Who, though. <laughs> or play a video game or something like that. So we might do that. But we'll see. Um, hold on. Let me get rid of that. Ooh, one reroll. I really need to max up the Uber Sheep. If that has not happened yet. I'm starting to struggle a little bit. So I need it to... Get as good as I can get it right now. Oh god. Um Time management makes me struggle, so that's why it takes me so long. I finally beat that took me 250 hours. Probably surpassed around. That's crazy. I didn't grow up with Doctor Who. Well, at this point, maybe I did. Um, I discovered Doctor Who when I was like 15, something like that, because it was on Netflix. I just started watching it. Uh, then my sisters joined me, and then my dad joined me, and it was great. I had a great time. And I, why can't I use my controller? Oh, because there's only one option. <laughs> That's why. I understand now. Oh, no, 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 fuck! Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Okay. I don't want to fucking sit here again and, and fail a third time. So we're going to play something a little easier. Stage 3 would be easier than hard 1, right? Because I think the it's, it just straight up says the level, yeah. Let's see that then. You know what? No. I just, I need to beat the, the achievements. I just need to beat the achievements. That's what we're doing. I'm not trying to be a hardcore gamer right now. I'm trying to an achievement hunter. 
I wish there was a speed up mode. Like, and it would still let me get the achievements. Like, I could play it two times speed. That way I can get these done in 10 minutes and get the achievements. Because I have to wait at, at minimum, like, like, it's a 20 minute stage, but it takes like 30 minutes to do because there's timer stops when you're in the menus. So it takes like 30 minutes a pop. Reduce damage taken by 25% and speed by 10% when attacked. There's a 50% chance the attacker also takes 200% damage. Yeah. Get the lava bucket again. I'll try to get the Uber Sheep Super Collab one more time. Um, would I collaborate with someone from Hollow Life, or would you be nervous to do it? Well, I mean, I I would, and I would. Uh, both would be true. I would absolutely love to collab with someone in Hollow Life, and I would be incredibly nervous. But I feel like that opportunity is not necessarily going to arise. Uh, a, because I'd probably have to be the one to reach out. And B, I don't think I'm a big enough uh, YouTuber to get the attention of someone in Hollow Life. So I don't know. Like Ko has uh, done like an interview with Ollie. That was a thing, but he's got like 15 times more subscribers than me <laughs> on YouTube. I think Twitch is his main platform, but regardless, I think I would need to be a bit bigger to even get that going. <laughs> I could always shoot my shot, but I have anxiety when talking to people that I don't know. Um, and I could probably do a collab just fine, but like DMing someone when I'm not anywhere near like their subscriber level is a little like nerve wracking. I actually recently DM'd someone on Twitter has a similar subscriber level to me, but I got, it didn't respond or anything. Um, so I'm like, well, I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> and I, I don't necessarily blame them or anything. It's completely fine. They might not have even known I did it. Who knows? They might not check DMs. Um, but I'm like, well, that's that. <laughs> no collabs ever. And to be fair, I actually am in a Discord server with a few other um, uh, reactors, VTuber reactors. So if, realistically, if I want to collab, I could ask any of them. They would, they would probably say yes. And I've collabed with a few of them before too. But I'm also so fucking busy with work that it, it, it's very difficult to have free time. I almost have to take off work and I don't necessarily want to do that. Because I don't have an unlimited amount of days to take off. So I need to save those for like vacations. Or sick days. I can't necessarily do it for collapse, even though I would love to. Although me saying like, oh, I, I don't think I'm big enough to get collabs with people in Hollow Life, I feel like there's a chance some might say yes, just like depending on who I ask. I feel like Ollie, like, <laughs> I'm going to do this again. I feel like Ollie would be kind of receptive to that. If I ask her to teach me how to play Apex, <laughs> I feel like that would work. She's commented on one of my videos before, so she at least knows who I am. Even if she probably forgot, but <laughs> probably is at least aware. <laughs> oh, let me still need to get the um failed achievement. Probably have an easier time collabing with a 
indie VTubers or um, corporate VTubers that are just in smaller corporations. Oh, well, it seems like a lofty goal. <laughs> Why did I get the toot, I toot again? Your membership noise is Muna, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, did I change that? I might have changed it. I don't remember. Oh, my membership thing might not be working because I changed my membership here. I didn't fix that, so it might not make a noise right now. Um, so I'd actually have to probably go back and fix that, which is only like a, uh, like a quick fix. I just assumed I probably wouldn't be getting any memberships. But yeah, yeah it, it is uh, Muna saying, Oh, watch party. Because she, Muna has commented on several of my videos that I made. Because I have reacted to several of her, of her songs. Um, so the first like three or four songs I reacted to of her, she has commented on all of the videos. Which made my day every single time. <laughs> so she also knows who I am. I think out of everyone who's... Okay, so there's several... Got all of these. Increase critical hit damage by 10%, but increase special cooldown by 25. That's fine. That's fine. I'll just take all... That's that's all fine. Um, there are several Hololive members that have seen my videos at the very least. And it's Ollie, uh, Muna, and Kiara. I don't think anyone else at least no one else has commented the toots are slowly driving me crazy don't worry me too me too <laughs> i can't remember if there's anyone else no live has commented on one of my videos i'm not 100 percent sure i think that might be it i'd have to go back and look <laughs> I've I've um rated some of them before. None of them have been like, oh my god, I know who you are. When I rated them, they've all been receptive to being rated. So some of them at least know the name. <laughs> Doesn't necessarily mean much though. I also have, have I have a lot of I probably have more interactions with VTubers outside of Hollow Life than I do inside of Hollow Life. I don't know how much I feel about it anymore because of Niji Sanji's the whole thing that happened. Um, but early on when Luxium debuted, I when I was doing a live reaction to um, uh, Niji Sanji clips, Ike showed up in chat. He's also commented on one of my videos. So he knew of me. I don't know if I have not, I'm not doing Niji Sanji stuff anymore, though. But that did happen. That was an experience. Uh, I've had a bunch of other indie VTubers who, or small carpo VTubers that follow me and interact with me on Twitter and stuff. I mean, if you count the amount of collabs all of girls had with indie male VTubers over the years, I'm not super sure, but it has not exactly been a common occurrence, has it? Not really, or at all. It's, it's, way, it's way, way more... Um, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It happens way more on the, on the JP side, not really on the EN side. So that seems unlikely. If I were to call, if it wouldn't realistically, it's never happening. But if I were to, it'd probably be with someone in ID or one of the boys. Those are the highest chances of something happening. But those chances are still small, but very unlikely, regardless. Mm -hmm. 
Unfortunately, I would probably get a lot of blowback, which is a, a little frightening thinking about uh, as being a very small uh, YouTuber, because there are some crazy fans out there, which is why a lot of the girls don't collab with boys because of the crazies. So that could be aimed at me, and I don't want that happening. <laughs> but that wouldn't necessarily happen with the ID girls or stars. I think the best raid was um, with Fox Mom from a certain company when uh, she said, um, what are you, a watch party? Hopefully not me, because I it's <laughs> going really. Yeah, that was nice. That was fun. She was super nice. I, I, I'm always so nervous about raiding uh, bigger streamers because it feels like I'm looking for attention, but I'm just trying to, when I'm not, I'm just trying to send you guys to a cool stream. Um, but I'm always nervous, like, hey, don't do that. Why would you do that? You can't raid me. <laughs> but that's never the response I ever get. Every single time I've raided someone, everyone's been like, oh my gosh, hi, thank you for raiding. What are you doing? What have you been up to? <laughs> what were you playing? It's always been so nice. It's always been so nice. I think I raided some of the Hollow Life girls. I'm not 100%. I think I graded Cali once. I can't remember. It's been a while. Um, I try to aim and uh, read more of the boys than the girls because smaller audience. <laughs> so it's less scary. Probably going to raid someone today. I'll have to see who's live. I can when I when I look at the rating thing, I can look at um, anybody who I'm subscribed to that is open to raids from anybody. And honestly, when I see that, it's like, oh, they're open to raid from anybody. That means it's probably a go ahead. But I I can and it's fine because otherwise, that's because that's an opt in feature. That's not not that's not just on automatically. They turn that on. Um, and I noticed in Home Life, not everyone has it on. So it's not like a thing that they were told that they have to have it on. Um, it's a thing that they turned on. So I feel a bit more okay about um, rating people on YouTube because they have to turn it on. To be rated from anybody. Because there's like different tiers. There's either like, no one can raid you. Only people you're subscribed to can raid you. Only people um, who you give permission can raid you or anybody can raid you. Those are basically the tiers of it. And I have it set to like anybody can raid me. Um, and I can raid anybody who has it open to anybody can raid them or if they're, subs if they're subscribed to me, I would be able to raid them. I don't really have a way of knowing if they're subscribed to me. Though. But if I'm not subscribed to someone, I can also like look up a sp specific person and if they're open like in the in the thing that anyone can raid them then i can raid them too i don't have to be subscribed to them although if people who i am subscribed to show up in a big list uh of who i can raid and it'll show me people who are currently live and their upcoming live streams and i can click on that and send people over there like let me actually take a look i'm not gonna raid anybody right now but i want to look who's available to raid Just to give you guys an idea. No one's actually live. There's one person who I follow who's Dima, who's a, uh, I think, indie VTuber. She's currently live, but like some of the options are like Ollie, Haka, uh, Bay. Gerard, Gold Bullet, Shinri, Altair. Tavio, Iris. Just to name a few. They're all people with um, live stream rooms set up. They're not currently live, but they have a room. So I could click that and send people over to them. There were a bunch of other indies in there that I'm subscribed to that showed up as well, but I just I was trying to name people. 
They're a bit bigger. So like, oh, any one of them I could raid. And theoretically it's fine. Yeah, I remember that too, Owlcatcher. It's a little unfortunate. It, it sucks that some of the people in the community are like that. That will go against anything that the boys do. Or don't want them to interact at all with the girls. It sucks. It sucks that that's a thing. Because it, 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 it creates a barrier. And it makes collabs happen less, less often. Which just sucks. Because someone, honestly, some of the best collabs we ever got were with like Vesper, Magni, Crony, Kali, uh, Bay, uh, in, in any combination of them. A Worms collab that I think Ame was into. Those were all awesome. And it doesn't really feel like we're getting many um, Hollow Life, Hollow Stars collabs anymore. I think... Without really looking about it, the one I can only think of that happened semi recently is I think Bay watched like Barbie with Haka and oh, someone else. I don't really remember who. Leon maybe. But that was still a little while ago. And there there still could be more happening. I'm just not aware of any currently. But it, it does put up a small barrier that makes people probably second guess doing collabs, which sucks. And I'm also like, oh, I don't think, oh, you guys have to collab with each other. You have to do it. No, uh, if no one, if you don't want to collab with someone, don't collab with them. But I, I hate that there's like a stigma around it, you know, when created by the fans. And I'm using fans lo loosely because I feel like if you're an actual fan, you wouldn't gatekeep people like that. At this point, I think it's only really Bay who's interacting with Hollow Stars on the side. I think maybe. I think it's also it, it's a combination of it's not happening a lot because people are busy. Uh, like a, lo a lot of the girls are super super busy; they don't have a lot of time to collab in general, so it doesn't happen all that often. I'm not getting the items I want. And it, I think it's like, I, I'm sure if a lot of girls or the boys were asked to collab, they would say yes, but no one's asking to collab. This The slightest, slightest barrier is what's stopping them. It makes them think, think twice and then, and then just don't do it. Yeah, I think so, too. I think Magni and Vesper were the ones that were, like, asking the collab. So, like, oh, they asked, and the girl said yes. That was that was it. It was, it was simple as that. And just the other boys just weren't asking. Probably nerves, or maybe they don't necessarily want to collab. Which is also fine. I'm a, I'm, like I said, I'm a big proponent of you don't have to collab with anybody. A lot of people don't want to collab. Like myself, like, I would like to collab with people, but I get so nervous just talking to people I don't know. So it's like, well, imagine me being in a company and like an, uh, an organization or something. One sec. Uh, let me switch this with this. Imagine, if, I imagine if I was in Hollow Stars, I would be nervous to collab with people because I just don't know them. They're in my company, but it's not like I know them. I would do what probably most everyone else does and collab within my generation because we started together. We got comfortable with each other. And collabs are a bit more expected in your generation. And I, I feel like that just makes like the most sense. What, what can I come up with? Curse. Thing board. 
I can't do this, dude. Ball. I don't really like the ball one, so I have to find cutting board. Ooh, milk. Oh, hog. So, like, I know I, I would have such a hard time just asking people to collab because you got to think about it like, oh, I'm fucking fourth gen Hollow Stars, Ian Hollow Stars. It'd be kind of difficult to ask someone I don't know in Hollow Live to collab. There does seem to be a kind of a trend that like a lot of VTubers and people who are applying to Hollow Life are kind of introverted. W wanting to be a, and, and obviously this isn't 100% of the time, but wanting to be a VTuber, I think um, there's a higher chance to be, if you want to be one, if you're introverted. Because um, the aspect of not showing your face. So that's pretty appealing to some people for that specific reason and if you're introverted it's really 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 hard to ask for collabs even if like you 100 percent you know they will say yes because they're cool they're fun you know enough about them they're like yeah they would collab 100 percent. they've even said they've collabed and they would collab in like your discord with anybody but you still don't ask because you're it's nerve you're nervous it's also really hard to talk to someone you don't know for the first time on stream <laughs> that's hard I don't want to do ball. I'm gonna get rid of the ball. Uh, just grab the axe. More options. So stuff like that happens too. So when it gets to the point like, oh, you didn't introduce yourself when you got there, or everyone's super busy, so they don't really have time to collab. Uh, once you're there long enough, it's just like, well, I haven't collabed with anybody outside of my gen or my like organization like just hollow stars or just hollow live uh it's a little harder to ask and i think when magni and vesper were like getting started they made a point to ask and they got yeses because yeah they wanted to <laughs> i think i remember hearing a story that um that song axel put up it had a bunch of the a bunch of people in it. We had Ina. Uh, I really don't actually even remember who was all in it, but it had a bunch of people from all the all the different sections. Of the hall. I, I remember like Kiara saying that she was like, oh, she was gonna be in it. She was thinking about being in it, but by the time she was gonna like, oh, I won't say yes. All the spots were filled up, so she just couldn't. But like, oh, Ina was in that. And Ina, I don't think, has, like, collabed, like, stream-wise with any of the stars, but she's been in a song, so she's obviously not against it. But I'm pretty sure Ina's also, like, shy, and she just doesn't do a lot of collabs to begin with. So it's stuff like that. And this is 100% me just speculating and guessing based on what I know about certain talents. Admittedly, I don't know a lot about um, a lot of the Hollow Stars. I would like to know more about them. There's just not a lot of clips, so it's hard for me to get to know them when I don't have time to watch live streams. So this is just me guessing. <laughs> I take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt. I'm just going off of like my experiences as being a a YouTuber and streamer and being introverted. <laughs> Uh, the people saying they keep both sides separate is dumb. Uh, they both have Hollow Light brand. It's Hollow Light and Hollow Stars. The company, but people just don't understand that. Yeah, I think the, for the most part, the people who want to keep it separated are the people that like don't want the girls being like, "Oh my God, they're gonna collab with the boys." Gross. <laughs> they want their Oshis to themselves, so they can't be speaking to boys, which is stupid <laughs> and unrealistic. <laughs> You would think, like, if they're going to interact with a boy at all, it'd be better to interact with someone in their... That someone that's a co-worker. Because <laughs> nothing's going to happen there. <laughs> I 
instead of someone that's just like randomly <laughs> out on the street because you know like fucking <laughs> i talk to women all the time because i work with women outside of streaming i see women like in, in, in the street <laughs> <laughs> interact with them just saying like saying hi to a random person going by like someone asks you a random question like oh where's this place located or something like that like you interact with the opposite gender all the time <laughs> so it's weird that they think they don't interact with men at all <laughs> and that's even vice versa too because there's also uh, plenty of people that don't want the boys interacting with girls because they want the boys to themselves. I think one of the biggest notes of that in Niji Sanji is like Vox. Not that I like Vox or anything, but you know what I mean? So the, it's, on, it's on both sides. It's just more stigmatized towards the girls. So I guess the conclusion is that you need to get on one of them affiliate VTuber shows? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm also so into too introverted to be like when they ask when like people like Philly in or uh, other indies be like, hey, I'm looking for people to do this thing. Happy to have anybody. I'm also too introverted to be like, oh, I'll do it. Because <laughs> what if they say no? <laughs> I know you asked and you're happy for anybody, but you could say no. That's just how I, like, I could be collabing with way more people, but I'm too scared. I'm too scared. I'm a little baby, man. And I will, I will say, if it's like a, a bigger thing, like if it's a bigger person, like Fillion, I will get, like, ratioed. <laughs> Not in a bad way, but like, oh, an indie VTuber who's way, way more popular than me, even if by a magnitude of like two, would get noticed before I do, just based off the numbers. So that kind of thing probably wouldn't happen. But, I mean, there's plenty of indie VTubers that I know or have interacted with that I could ask to collab with, and I would probably get a yes. I just haven't done it. I also I'm, I'm held back a little bit because of my VTuber model. Because uh, I have a pre-made model. In certain things, when some VTubers are like, oh, submit yourself for... Uh, if you're a VTuber, uh, link your model down below and I'll draw it or, or something. Or something along those lines. I don't sit my, submit my stuff for that kind of thing because I have a pre-made model that anybody can buy. I tweaked the colors a little bit because I was allowed to, but I don't have my own... VTuber model that I had made for me. Uh, I just have one that anyone can buy. So I feel like I can't in insert myself uh, into that kind of space. If I had like my own model, then maybe I would probably do that a bit more often, but I'm not currently doing that because of because of uh, this. When Shiley Lily announced her collab with gamer subs when i guess she's a part owner but um where she's making a card game for vtubers um i actually was like oh i'll i'll be in it um but as myself and not as of my vtuber self because she said that even vtuber adjacent people could theoretically be in it so i'm like oh i'm vtuber adjacent so like, oh, I could be in it. I haven't, obviously haven't heard anything, but that's because I'm such a small creator that they're going to get bigger creators in. I think she mentioned something like having expansions and this expansions having themes. So if there's like a theme where it's like, uh, uh, like people, <laughs> people, like the regular people in the VTuber space, then you would have people like Ko and Nags and me and Velo City uh, and Tirwa that could get cards. So that would make more sense. But when it comes to being like weirdly specific, like if you're a VTuber, let me rank your model or something like that. I avoid those. Hmm. 
pretty late into this. I don't know if I necessarily need the, the gold one right now. Well, if you say no, then it's literally no different than asking in the first place, right? It's the whole, the worst thing they can say is no kind of deal. <laughs> Just a, a bit more abstract sense. I, and you're absolutely correct. You're 100% correct. There's there's no problem if I just said no. Or if they just... Hold on. If I asked and they just said no, it makes almost no difference. Um, but <laughs> um, I have a fear of rejection. <laughs> and this has stunted my everything. <laughs> so even, even hearing no, and it's just straight up no, or like something apologetic, like, oh, thank you for this. I appreciate it. Probably not right now. Even something like as nice as that. I'm like, I fear it. I dread it. This is why I don't ask women out. <laughs> I've had girlfriends, but most of my girlfriends have been asking me. <laughs> or like through dating apps where that concept doesn't really exist. So, uh... Just hearing a no is devastating. My neighbor is playing very loud music, so I don't apologize if you can hear that. My gate should be... I have decent microphones. So my, it should be blocking it out for the most part. But when I'm speaking, it might be hearable. Uh, ooh, super cheap. Okay, that should be maxed out now, so I should be able to get the super collab. I need to get the golden hammer, though. I have to find that. But like I said earlier, when I, I asked someone to collab through Twitter DMs, and I got zero response, I'm just like, well, fuck me. <laughs> Not doing that again. <laughs> Hello, Zena. Genthon. Genthon, sorry. Like glancing at the name made me read it wrong. A certain company, uh, a certain person had released this movie, and I watched it, and it liked it, and then everything changed, and how now I don't know how to feel about it anymore. I do not know what you're referring to. Um, we need coins and crit up. Am I just out of things? What did I need for the Ian curse again? Cutting board, I think. Yeah, I don't have that. I've not seen that. Let me get rid of the sausage. Let me do a re-roll. Re-roll. Cutting board. There we go. I'm gonna pay a bit more attention to that. But yeah, that's that's the whole collab thing. I probably could get some collabs with some people, but I'm too much of a little baby man to ask. And I feel like the entire VTuber or just streaming community in general are probably very similar to that. Uh, we're all we're all introverted and scared to ask. Because we're all introverts. Which is fine, it's fair, it's valid. I'm also way I'd be way more comfortable asking someone who's roughly my level yeah, in subscribers or viewers or, or something like that. Like, could I theoretically ask Co, Coefficient, or Nags to collab? Probably. But I get a yes, maybe. We have very similar content when it comes to VTuber reactions. So I could get a yes. Um, but, like, they're far bigger than me. So I'm like, well, probably won't do that. Probably won't do that. Um, I'll get the BL book. That's fair, Alice. Uh, by the way, have you ever ex uh, considered expanding your React repertoire outside of Hololive, featuring Indie or some other smaller company VTuber? I, well, I have, and I've done it. Uh, the problem is it just straight up doesn't get viewed. I'm, I'm kind of pigeonholed right now. Is basically all of my videos I'm uploading are Hololive clips you sent me, the CYSM series. I do like three a week and almost no other videos because right now that's the only thing that gets views. And I, I don't necessarily want to do things just for views, but 
it's a little disheartening when I upload a CYSM and it gets 2,000 views in the first day. And then I upload a VTuber TikTok, which I usually don't, I don't watch Hollow Life VTubers during that. And it doesn't even break a thousand during the first day. It's really unfortunate. <laughs> um, I try to do Vishojo reactions and same thing that doesn't even break a thousand in the first day. And the only thing that ever got close to Hollow Live is when I started doing Niji Sanji, which I don't do anymore. But even like closer to the end of me reacting to Niji Sanji, the views also dropped. Like my most viewed video right now is a Niji Sanji video. That was me reacting to all of their like debut songs when uh when there was only five gens, five waves. Oh, not that. This. And that. Awesome. Uh, so I want, I would, I would love to react to more indie uh, and more stuff like that, but it's just like no one watches it. I'm, I'm very, very pigeonholed into watching Hollow Eyes, which is probably mostly my fault because that's the only thing I started reacting to. And then I didn't start reacting to anything else for like a year. So everybody that was subscribed to me was just that. Uh, yeah, that. So anyone who subscribed, it's just, just the Hollow Life fans and they either don't get recommended the indie or V Shoujo or smaller corporation VTuber reactions, or they just weren't gonna watch it at all. Um, I would love to do more, but I just can't. I want what I wanted to do was because I have the Hollow Live clips you sent me. I also wanted to do uh, just VTuber clips you sent me. That didn't have any Hollow Live, but it was every everything else. Um, but no one sends any clips. I'm like, hey guys, send me uh, uh, indie clips. I won. <laughs> Not full. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, but I asked, like, I'm gonna, I want to try to do YouTuber clips. You sent me, uh, send me clips. No one, no one sent any clips. I was like, some sent a couple, um, but I, I just couldn't get the series started because of that. Okay, we can move on to Hachima. Okay, Hato. Uh, let me get this started, then I'll continue what I was saying. Red Heart created big red hearts in Hato form. Hacks knock enemies back in Hachima form. Damage increase. Get a hard person to enemies back. Get like 300% damage. Change between Hato form and Hachima form. Oh. Do they do different things? It's interesting. All right. Uh, oh, it's like a circle. But yeah. Uh, when I asked about it, it's like a couple people sent me in some clips, but it, it wasn't really enough to make a video. Um, but when I asked for Hollow Live, I get a huge, huge stream. Like right now, I'm super, super far behind on um, Hollow Live clips. Uh, I get like sent in when I started doing it, I was getting sent in like 10, 15 a day, uh, which was kind of crazy. Uh, and then I took a break or I wasn't doing any videos for like a month or two. Um, I don't know what I need for her. So I'm just going to grab her main stuff first. Um, and during that, because my computer was broken and I was super busy at work, so I didn't really have time for anything else. Uh, and how to form, you know, three HP every two seconds and Hachima form red heart and poison targets around dealing 30% damage per second targets can gain. Up to five stacks of oh my god so it's either heal a bunch or poison a bunch that's interesting and then i switch the other thing okay i'm gonna have to figure this out um I, no, actually when i started i was getting like 10 clips a day i said like 15 or 20 but that's wasn't that wasn't accurate i don't think um so i'm like oh okay that's good i can kind of keep up with this and i was only doing like one video a week so i was getting behind and then i took the, all that time off and then i got really really behind but during that time, people kept sending in more clips. <laughs> um, and when I came back, uh, it was still pretty popular. And then people started sending in more clips. And now I'm at the point where people I get like 20 clips a day. <laughs> well, anywhere between 10 and 20. It, it varies per day. Um, but I'm only doing like 20 clips a video. I'm only doing three videos. So I'm getting behind. 
um i i have i've been reacting to clips my current reacting videos are from clips from january i'm pretty sure let me get this and how to form reduce all damage taken by 20 percent and hotchmo form deck increases by 30 percent spider related weapons deal 50 percent more damage okay so i guess hot toe is more tanky and hotchmo is more attack based that makes sense oh and it, the attack is different too interesting um what was i saying Oh yeah, the clips. So now, all the clips I'm reacting to are clips that were sent to me back in January. That's how far behind I am. And by doing three videos a week, and each video is roughly 30 minutes long, I get about a week and a half ahead of clips. But I'm pretty sure the amount of clips I'm getting right now are outpacing even that. So even once I catch up to like March, I still might not have enough time. Oh my gosh, thank you. Awful. I am I employ you watch Bluff um I'll know watch for Hollow ID comp, please. Okay, I'll I'll check that out. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I'll make sure to I'll make sure to look that up. I think even now I'm getting outpaced in clips. So once I catch up the march, I think I might have to even up it even more, but I'm not 100 percent sure. I don't like being behind because I'm behind on trends. I feel like videos would do even better if I was up to date on trends, at least a little bit. I'll have to figure that one out. Um, but yeah, be trying to do any stuff just doesn't get to use. I, I'm I'm starting to circumvent that a little bit with the uh, uh, VTuber TikTok series that I'm doing. And, and by doing that, it's like e the individual videos aren't getting that many views in comparison, which kind of sucks. But I can turn those videos into shorts. And I can have seven shorts a week of me reacting to indie or small corpo uh, VTubers. And then those shorts, in turn, actually get more views than the video did. So my, my latest VTuber TikTok video was of Inksy. And I think that's sitting at like, I don't know, 600 views, something like that. But the last two shorts I uploaded um, the one, the, the newest one's at like 1.6k and the last one is at almost 4,000. So that's getting more views and, uh, it's bringing in more subscribers and the more subscribers I get in that aren't just hollow life fans, the more views the other videos are going to get. So I think I'm slowly turning around, hold on, I'm slowly turning around how many views I get, uh, from, uh, from indie VTuber or for indie reactions and other uh, that's not just Hollow Eye, but it's going to take some time, unfortunately. Uh, gain one coexistence per second at 60 stacks. Change of heart becomes Eldritch form, where both Hato and Hachimo effects are active for 10 seconds. That's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. So, it's going to take a little bit of time to get to the point where my other reactions start doing well. But I'm working there. I'm getting closer. I used to do way more. I used to do live streams that were like specifically for that. Mm, I'll grab that. Uh, and those live streams did pretty well. Uh, but I don't really have a lot of time to live stream <laughs> anymore. And they just don't get views like they used to. Um, because we're not in the middle of a pandemic where everyone has off work or off school. Uh, so it's harder to get people in. But I think I'm turning it around. It's just slowly happening. But for now, the main content is going to be all the live clips you sent me. Because people love that. It's actually kind of crazy. Because obviously I was just doing all live reactions just in general. And I was doing reactions to like um, clip compilations or uh, like pre-made ones. Or um, videos that were clipped from a stream. Or, and it edited down to like 10 minutes or something like that. That had like a specific thing that was happening in them or like hollow live experiences or something like that and then i would also react to songs and those always did well and sometimes they would pop off and get like ten thousand views or uh, 30 to forty thousand views or something like that um, but the average was like a thousand views in the first day but the clips uh the cysm series has 
I've not seen anything like this. Each video is consistently um, averaging like 3.5 to 5,000 views before they're, they stop getting viewed uh, consistently. Because everything has like a weird trend to it. Like when I first upload it, they get about 2,000 to 2,500 in the first day. And then they gain from there. Um, and once they hit about 5,000 is when they stop getting viewed. Roughly, it, it, everything's a little different, um, but it, it's roughly around there. I'm gonna grab spider cooking. Uh, and then someone, some of the other ones, back to, up to like 10,000 uh, views or something like that. Um, but it's the most popular series I've ever done. But because of that, I feel like I can't upload anything else because nothing else gets as many views. And when I upload something else, it'll hurt the CYSM because our pe the YouTube algorithm is very fickle. Uh, cause if you, if a, if a subscriber doesn't watch everything on your channel, then it won't get recommended that to them. And it'll also hurt your better series. Thank you for the subscription. Um, So uploading videos on the channel that aren't doing well will hurt the other videos because they'll start to not get recommended to them. Because I was doing anime reactions on this channel too, but they got abysmal views in comparison. Like if I, on a lucky day, it'd have like 300 views after like a week of getting viewed. Um, my, my neighbor's music got so much louder. Can you guys hear that, by the way? <laughs> I can feel it in my feet. They're my, my downstairs neighbor. I feel the bass. Uh, so, but I had to stop reacting to anime on this channel because it it lowered um, all the views of the VTuber stuff. Because I had like two different audiences. One that was there for the anime, which was a much smaller audience, and one that was there for VTuber. And they didn't react, and they made all my views lower in general. So I made the second channel, uh, the Annie Drew channel, which is just anime now. And so people can follow that. And those are actually getting okay views for being a brand new channel. Um, but since I split it off, uh, Andrew VT has been doing way, way better in views uh, because I don't have other videos like taking it down as much, I, w I would say. Um, uh, when I upload VT for TikTok, that probably does drag it down a little bit. But I'm trying to even out the hollow eye versus other category to get people watching everything. And if I can even them out, then hopefully it'll work itself out. I mean, the fact that there is like four layers of VTuber content that manages to exist in the first place is kind of great. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, VTuber streams, clippers, uh, make clips, reactors, reactor clips. And that's three levels right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you, Novel. A lot of people actually aren't subscribed that watch me, and they don't even know. Um, YouTube tells me, like, in, in my stats page and everything like that, it's like 70% of your viewers don't aren't subscribed. Because they get, they oh, they watch it every single time. It gets uploaded because YouTube recommends it to them on their homepage, so they watch it. But people aren't, like, clicking subscribe because they think they already are because they're getting recommended every video. I, 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 that's why I say it at the end of every single video to subscribe and every single video I get more subscribers, but, uh, <laughs> let me get the, oh, it's a little late for the researcher's coat. Oh, that's the candy. I like the candy. So some people just don't realize they are, which is fine. Subscribers aren't necessarily everything. It, it's more about, uh, loyal viewers. Like there's plenty of YouTubers. YouTubers. VTubers, yes, but there's plenty of just YouTubers in general that I watch that I'm not subscribed to, but I get recommended all of their videos. And I really should subscribe to them, even though I'm not. But I get recommended all of their videos, so it feels like I, like I don't need to be subscribed, even though it does help in the long run as it gets more people watching. Uh, and a lot of people who don't necessarily know who you are will be like, oh, they have a small number of subscribers. I'm not going to watch them because they're probably be bad. But that also hurts things on just like a visual standpoint. 
But yeah. Ooh. Now we just need reactors that react to reactors. We we kind of, I've, we've kind of done that a little bit. <laughs> there have been times where I've reacted to other reactors, and they've reacted to me and stuff like that. There's also there is the there are channels that like do the reactor compilation videos. That exists. I, I I'm in several uh, like compilation reaction videos, uh, along with like Velo City and Tierwall and, and, and Elon. And stuff like that. They'll take our reactions and mash them together. So that might be the next level down. Uh, but YouTube is all about like niches. You need to know what your niche is, and you need to work in your niche. My niche is VTuber reactors, but that means my niche is a few a few layers deep. Because usually a niche is like what type of video that you're making, whether it be like here I'm in the gaming niche, or I'm in just like a Fortnite niche or something like that. But um, there's the niche, and there's YouTube, then there's the niche of VTubers. Then there's the niche of VTuber clips. And then inside of that one, there's the niche of VTuber reactors who react to the clips. So I'm within a niche, within a niche, within a niche, which super limits how many people are going to watch me. Uh, but I like the niche. It's fun. I like being here. <laughs> so I don't like see it as a problem or anything. Um... Well, that just means like my niche isn't big, but it's dedicated. People that are within my niche and want to watch my niche, my niche within a niche within a niche, um, they're always going to show up for every video that's within that niche. But I have like two niches where it's Hollow Live and then every other VTuber. So it's kind of split like that a little bit. I've been here for two years now, and I started out patronizing you <laughs> uh, in a fun way, obviously. But now I just try to be a good mod, which I, I think I'm terrible, but I haven't fired me yet. To be fair, there's nothing like radical that happens in chat, so it's never a huge problem. The biggest stuff was like when bots were a big issue, but that has not happened in a while. I say that, and it's gonna start happening. <laughs> I mean, when it comes to VTuber reactions, there's like three to four people who are at the top, relatively speaking. Next, Ko, you, and Tier. Um, I would say I'm mid tier. I wouldn't call myself at the top. I would say the people at the top are like, like you said, Nags and Co. And then the next one down is Velo City. And there's a pretty big gap. Because Nags and Co, for like subscriber wise on YouTube, I think they're both around 200,000, I think. Something around there. I could be wrong. On the, and Velo City is about at 100,000. And then the next tier down is where I am, which is where it, which I'm at 16,500, 16,500, uh, which is around where Tirwa is, uh, where Delon is, uh, Silver Status, uh, uh, everyone like that. It's too many to name. <laughs> um, that's about my rough tier. So, and then and there are others that are smaller than that too. So I would say I'm in like the mid range. I need to pick up more things. I think water, whammy water collabs with spider cooking, right? Or, or did I imagine that? Okay, they don't, I don't have that on this list. Spider cooking and Get the tier. We'll grab that. So I, w I would consider myself a mid-range when it comes to um, the VTuber reactors. <laughs> not the lowest, but not the highest for sure. I think the reason why VTubers reactors are underrated is not because the niche, but YouTube is not exposing enough. I mean, you can tell these days uh, YouTube algorithm is focusing on YouTube shorts. Yeah, and that's why I, I, I do upload shorts and a lot of my most viewed things are shorts. But then I noticed that <laughs> I really have to do specific things with shorts. Otherwise, I'm segmenting my audience again because um, I was doing really, really well with shorts. Um, I was getting like 10,000 per short for a while. And then I had instances where I got my first million view video with a short, um, but I was react I was reacting to shorts, 
So I was keeping in the same reacting thing, but I was not reacting to VTuber stuff. I was just reacting to shorts. Um, so any short that would come up on my feed, I would react to it. And if it was like, oh, this is good enough, good video, then I'll, I'll upload that. And I had one video that went short that got over a million views and one that got like 250,000. And both of those videos each got me an extra 1,000 subscribers. So 2,000. Um, but everybody who subscribed because of those shorts are not going to watch my VTuber reactor stuff because they don't care about that. They're not, they don't watch VTubers. I mean, some might, but realistically, most won't. Um, so my average views on just videos did not go up. I actually made a short about this a week or two ago. Uh, and it actually hindered my channel a little bit because I got this rush of subscribers that do not watch my videos. They were, probably react, watch some of my shorts, but that was it. So I kind of screwed myself over a little bit. So recently, like, like I kind of mentioned earlier, I've been doing uh, with VTuber TikToks, and I take those TikToks and shorts and making them into shorts. And when those get good views, the people who stick around and watch those are going to be way more likely to actually watch videos. So that's kind of what I've been sticking with, and it's been working. It's been very helpful, but, uh, but I've been having a lot of success with shorts. And on my um, my anime channel, shorts have been very key uh, to getting subscribers and everything like that. Uh, because the actual videos themselves do fine for a brand new channel. to get like maybe 30 to 100 uh, views a video. But the shorts can get like 1,000 to 10,000 views. And I get a lot of my subscriptions from shorts. And then when a short does well, the corresponding, because I, I'll make a short of my long form video because it's a watch along. I'll take a little, I'll take a moment out of that watch along and make it into a short. So it's the same content. So when a short does really well, people will see that, look at the related video and go to the video of that short. Uh, and then they'll watch that. And so the, the video does better. Um, I wish shorts existed when I started making this channel because I, I feel like I'd actually probably be a lot more popular. Well, numbers wise, uh, I'd be it'd be a lot higher up uh, because it's just jump starting the channel pretty quickly. Shorts are shorts are people would need to utilize shorts. Like, at the very least, if you're a smaller creator, you got to utilize shorts because if the short pops off, you could become you could double your subscriber count very quickly. They're, they're super important for smaller creators. Oh. oh boy. Dylan, what happened to him? I haven't seen a lot of his he's still uploading videos. I check out his channel every now and then. He still he still uploads videos. I don't know if he's doing a lot of I think he's diversifying a little bit. I don't know if he's just doing VTuber stuff. But he's still making stuff. Mm. Get the plushie. It's the same way with me. Like, oh, if I don't make a a specific, if I don't make CYSM and I make anything else, it's not gonna get as many views because it's not the same type of video and YouTube won't push it to people. So it's it's easily easily the same thing. Because uh, YouTube is at a loss right now. They try to become like Twitch and now that implemented shorts to be TikTok. I mean, this is just my guess. I mean, yeah, it, 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 it's a bit all over the place, but it's helping. And shorts don't make a lot of money. <laughs> There's also that. It, it, shorts are, for a creator standpoint, purely to get eyes on you. They barely make any money. Uh, they make like sense on the, on, on the views. Like I think a thousand views on a short will give me like, 10 cents. <laughs> it's not a lot. <laughs> uh, but it gets people in, which is the main thing. So it, it, it's important to do. Today's very hard for ideal to uh, VTubers to get their own content because check it out. The trending today, either pranks or the podcast. I mean, it will be hard for these creators to be up. Yeah. There's also the thing like... Um, 
reaction shorts do very well. Just like in general. Even on my own shorts feed, reaction shorts pop up all the time and they got a lot of views. Um, so when I make a reaction short, it gets pretty well viewed. But if I make a sh my, like my own content, it doesn't get viewed. <laughs> Sometimes it will. Sometimes it'll do all right. But for the most part, unless I'm doing a reaction short, it doesn't get viewed very well. So YouTube is incentivizing me to make more reactions. So it's hard to go out of my niche. It's almost, it's very difficult to go out of my niche. <sighs> With the seemingly uh, upcoming TikTok government things, I can see YouTube shorts popping off even more if that does. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Honestly, if the United States actually bans TikTok, uh, <laughs> YouTube shorts is going to skyrocket in popularity. Because realistically, I would imagine... Um, the United States probably is the biggest uh, demographic for TikTok. So if they die, TikTok could just die because they don't have enough revenue anymore, even if other countries use it. But that, that's probably one of the, the biggest revenues from them. So it could die and then everyone would go to YouTube Shorts and then uh, there'd be just a renaissance uh, for YouTube Shorts watchers and, and uh, creators. So I, I could see a huge uptick in views from that. Not that I don't want TikTok to die because of government regulation. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're just doing it because like the old people are upset that young people have something cool. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's just it. <laughs> um, so I'd prefer that not to happen, uh, but I would benefit, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh It makes sense. It's kind of hard to show an ad with shorts because each short is like 30 seconds long or something. Kind of bad if you include 30 seconds long ad to it. Yeah, uh, I, I think usually they just they insert ads like in between shorts. Um, I actually don't see any ads because I, I use YouTube Premium, so I, I'm not 100% sure how it works. Um, but when I used TikTok a few times, I felt like every single video was an ad. So... <laughs> I don't, it was super annoying, so I just stopped using TikTok entirely because it just everything felt like an ad. Uh, I don't know how bad it is in shorts because the premium. I'm about 100% sure on that one. I miss Vine. <laughs> no ads. Six seconds max. It's good times. I spread peanut butter on my face for a Vine. <laughs> I won't give you more details. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you get. <laughs> Marion 2010, uh, YouTube is like a community platform. Everyone can DM each other. Just, I forgot that was a thing. I kind of wish that was still there. It would make collabs a little easier. We wouldn't have to use Twitter. Ah. TikTok also has monetization issues again, for the same reason as YouTube Shorts. Uh, you just can't really stick many ads there. Yeah, it's hard to make money on 30 seconds to a minute. Like the, the revenue I get from Shorts is so, so much smaller than YouTube. Uh, uh, just a regular video. And honestly, my, was it CPM? I forget the term. Uh, mine's kind of low, <laughs> but it, it's still like, Ma I can probably I can tell you guys it doesn't really matter. I make like two dollars. It, it kind of depends on the video, but my CYSM videos get about two dollars per thousand views, and that varies a little bit. Sometimes it's lesser, sometimes it's more. Uh, and it also depends on the month. Is ad rev ad ad advertisers change how much they're paying out in, on certain months? Um, but I make roughly two dollars per thousand views. Uh, on my regular videos. But a short will be like 10 cents per two, per 1,000 views. Sometimes something like that. That that 1 million view video, that 1 million view short was like 1.1 million views. Uh, only net me like 70 bucks. Which $70 is a fucking lot. But if I had a video uh, hit 1.1 million views i'd have like over a thousand dollars 
which is fucking insane if you think about it. Mm. I'm like, I was super happy for the 70 bucks. Uh, for like a 20 second, vi 20 second chore, that's pretty good, but like, damn, what could have been? It's for the national security purposes. Someone on TikTok put a, a rant uh, ranting about and the U.S. government can agree on anything. About anything, but they can't agree about anything and but agree on... Yeah, they're, they're fucking fast-tracking that. They take years to do anything of important, but when they want to ban TikTok, it happens in like a week. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. See ya, Shafa. Have a good sleep. Glad you glad you're able to hang out. Andrew eat a ghost pepper a long time ago on a channel. <laughs> I had to go into the, uh, the underbelly of YouTube to find that. Yeah, that was sucked. I actually those videos aren't up anymore. <laughs> I I privatized that channel like a couple couple weeks ago. And my other channel, the uh, old the two older channels I had for um. Sandbar and Ultimate Life, I, I privatize them. Mm -hmm. oh, this one. I want the anvil. A double anvil, oh my god. I see the leading evidence. Well, all of them were just super old videos that I, for the most part, made in high school or college. And they're all gaming videos. And obviously they weren't getting views or anything. So I'm like, I don't need this. Uh, I don't upload to them. Uh, they don't really need to be around. Uh, so I'm like, well, I'm just going to privatize them. I didn't really do anything, but I was a, I'm a cringy guy and I was even more cringy in high school and college. And a lot of those gaming videos are, uh, I was playing with a bunch of people that I just don't talk to anymore. So I'm like, well, might as well just privatize them. They're not doing anything for me. Oh, so I don't need them. I didn't delete them. They still exist. They're just all private. So I, I can go back and look at them if I, if I want to. Uh, but they're gone. Just to ash. You realize that Sakura Swim Club video almost had 100k views? And <laughs> you were like, I can't have that. <laughs> Be one of my most popular videos? Absolutely. That is, I, I did actually second guess myself about getting rid of that one. Is it's at this point my second most viewed, like, normal video that I ever created? <laughs> I'm like, I don't think it needs to be there. <laughs> it's okay. It, it only had that many views because clickbait. Because uh, because of cute anime girls kissing. And I do that already with VTubers. <laughs> so I don't need it there. I graduated high school in um, 2015. So social media was uh, was was a thing, but it wasn't like as prevalent as it is now. Everyone had one. That everyone had Facebook, and then some people had Twitter. Um, but now it's just like it's ingrained in society. Although because of YouTube. I'm not going to say where I'm from, because I don't want to dox myself, but, <laughs> but, <laughs> because I'm, because of, I'm YouTube and from a small town, uh, I'm the second most famous person from my hometown, and I don't even have that many subscribers. 
I've got uh, 16.5k subscribers, and that makes me the second most famous person from my hometown because there's like a director that came from here <laughs> who's made like some like like pretty decently known movies, uh, but there's nobody else. <laughs> <laughs> so because of that, I, I am uh, the second most famous person that lives here. <laughs> and I find that hilarious. <laughs> At the very least, I'm pretty sure that's true. I don't, I haven't found any uh, like YouTube channels or or anything of like super note from anybody that has lived uh, here before. So that makes me feel special. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god. Whew. I'm not very optimized on this run, so I feel like I'm having a bit more trouble <laughs> than like the last run. Much less if these are some uh, videos that recorded with that. There are some, but they are safely uh, contained in random inactive YouTube channels, yeah. I, I was nervous. I, like, I originally thought about just completely deleting the channels, but, like, I've spent, like, maybe five years of my life making videos consistently. And, like, that's so much time and effort and love that I put into making that channel that I didn't want to just straight up delete. So, I'm like, I'm just going to privatize it. I can still watch it if I want to. So, they still exist. So, I think that's enough for me. My nose is so itchy right now, and I need to... I can't strafe when I'm itching my nose. One of my mustache hairs is, like, bent upwards and touching my nose, so it's making me want to sneeze. Yago! I can't get to that. Oh, no. Stun enemies super early. He also has a percentage to destroy enemy projectiles. I mean, all these are pretty good. I like the increased size. I mean, I'm gonna get rid of this one. I mean, that's fair, Alice. I would expect nothing less. Strengthen. Okay. Nice. Um, yep. I want to get the next collab. Hopefully this is also bug type. I'd make things way easier. Yep, 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 yep. No, wait, I want to get to the anvil. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come here. Watch me just die immediately because I'm getting attacked by something. Let's go. I would definitely force you to sit and watch both Percy Jackson movies. Oh, I've seen them. <laughs> I don't need to watch them again. I don't want to watch them again. <laughs> Still need to finish the show. Yeah. <laughs> what is a mod if not to uh, harass the streamer, you know? <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, I've got a decent amount of people here, so I'm going to do my YouTuber duty and say, Hey guys, if you want to become a member, it's only $5. You get uh, 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 videos early. You get emotes. You get exclusive videos. Uh, badges. Stuff like that. I recently had other tiers, but I've all condensed it down into one convenient tier for everybody. You can also gift memberships uh, and stuff like that if you don't want one for yourself, but you feel like being generous and giving it to somebody else. Only $5. Stuff like that. Uh, every video I upload to YouTube, I, I put up for members early. So, like, tomorrow's uh, CYSM, all live clips you sent me, uh, video is already up for members. Stuff like that. All right, there's my shelf. <laughs> you can also just subscribe. That's free. <laughs> if you want to support but don't have the money, subscribing, uh, interacting in chat, liking the video, stuff like that, super, super helpful. YouTube loves it. 
70 to 80 percent of people who watch my stuff aren't subscribed yada 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 <laughs> the youtube spiel 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 that's a pokemon <laughs> oh that's dying <laughs> nearly died because of that sign oh my god yeah oh my god owl <laughs> I was maybe thinking, like, maybe someone would give eight gift once, but Jesus, five gifted sub from Owlcatcher. Thank you so much. I, that gifted is a little low on the notification above me. <laughs> I need to fix that. But thank you so, so, so much. I super appreciate that. Like I said, if you're now a member, uh, videos early. Exclusive videos. There's only really one exclusive video and a couple of exclusive live streams right now, but there will be more in the future. More will be a copping out. Has that done more than five? I feel like it did more than five. Am I crazy? Hey, we did it. I I I'm, I swear to God, that did more than five, right? <laughs> <laughs> that was like eight. <laughs> Am I crazy? <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to go here. Okay, we got Hachima. Next up. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you, Owl. I appreciate it. It was five? Okay. I was a little focused on the game. It just felt like there was a lot. <laughs> Uh, for the notifications going off. <laughs> Could you hear that, by the way? It was Muna saying watch party. Also, it's working. <laughs> I could hear it. That's for sure. You couldn't hear it? God damn it. What did they do wrong? Um... At least the notification still shows up. That's like the main thing. Chatting. For audio. That's on. Settings. Audio. Advanced. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, I got so many things. Chatting. Could be on. Wait, that it's not. Put it here. Maybe that'll fix it. Well, regardless, it shows up, and that's like the main thing. It keeps turning off, and I don't know why. I guess I am technically doing this through vertical live streaming. So it's a different, like, output. So maybe that's what it is. Mm. Mm. Well, that's fine. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Gets the point across. But it's Moon. It's Moon is saying, "Hey, watch party." <laughs> so imagine Moon is saying that five times. All right, Mel. Oh sevens in the chat, please. White targets in front. Uh, Mel becomes banned for four seconds. All targets are frozen, uh, and any non-boss. It's a little hard to read. Uh, any non-boss targets close to Mel are banned from existence. Oh, she bite. Visually, I really like this attack. It's a very close range. YouTube seems to be giving me um, different concurrent live viewers, and I don't know which one's real. 
I, for, I think shorts are a little, like, still beta. <laughs> I think. Maybe some bugs need to be uh, uh, checked on. Because I got two different spots where YouTube can tell me um, in the YouTube studio uh, how many live viewers I have. The one says 20. The other says 38. Don't know which is accurate. <laughs> how many... How many uh, People who are watching, which is everybody. <laughs> How many live viewers do you see in chat? Because uh, it's two very different numbers for me. A Cirolla? What? A Corolla? A Cirolla? A Cirolla. I don't know what that is. The juice. Uh, when eating food, Mel drinks uh, the juice, gaining 30% attack and speed for five seconds. The next four weapon attacks will have lifesteal. Okay, so hers is about food. Okay, grab that. I want to get the, the uber sheep then. No, it seems to... It's gone from 4 to 30 to 50. Yeah. Oh, I think just in general, YouTube will, like, recommend it to different groups randomly. And then, like, uh, it, like uh, when I started, there was only, like, 10 people watching. And then it jumped up to 40 to 50. And it was like that for a little bit. And then people started swiping away. Uh, and then it kind of even back down. Genius uh, vampire. On life, steel heals. Uh, create one bat that flies to the closest target to deal 120% damage. Okay, I need life steal. Um, and then once they left, it evened back out. Uh, it was a little lower. And then later, YouTube would send it to more people. And it would jump back up to 50, to 70, to 80. Um... And then we go back down again, and it just came, kind of keeps jumping. And I think that's just how shorts work. Genuinely doing uh, 30 to 60 live viewers showing for me. Okay. So it's, it's roughly the same then. Your life suddenly showed for me, and I'm really in love with your VTuber character. I just come across you, uh, but I hope you have a lovely day. Thank you, Mira. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, Mel Mel cooking. Every 15 seconds, scatter three Mel Mel cooking close by. Our targets will slowly move towards the cooking to eat it, uh, which deals slow damage. Oh, okay. Mel can also eat her own cooking to heal for. Cool. That's cool. Nice. Okay, I like that. I like Mel. But yeah, YouTube um, shorts live streams is just as chaotic when it comes to views as regular shorts. So, like, when I upload a regular video, it usually has a very consistent, like, stream of views. Um, when I, like, for CYSM, for example, the first hour will get about 400 to 500 views in just that first hour, and it's a steady stream all the way up. And then after that, for the first, like, day, it's a couple hundred uh, until it hits about... 2,000 to 3,000 views, and then it goes down to like 50 uh, per day. And then from there, it probably drops to like five a day uh, for older videos. And and that's it's a very consistent line. But for shorts, um, a few things can happen. And the, my trend currently is... Actually, it's actually kind of weird. It's consistent now. It will do like a complete straight line though. Like for regular videos, it will get a lot at first and then start to slow down. But for shorts, currently, it's just a vertical, not vertical, it's a like a 90 degree line. 45 degree? I don't know. I don't know angles. But it's a straight line. Uh, and it gets like a very, very, very consistent amount of views and it'll do that for like two days. Um, before that, it was, I would upload a short and it wouldn't get any views for like 10 hours, like none. Like it was sitting at zero. And then the exact, like, 10-hour mark, it would suddenly have, like, 5,000 views within, like, 20 minutes. And it would stop getting views entirely. Um, and that's just how it works. And then, like, before that, we were super nice. It was, like, I would upload a short, and under, like, two hours, it would have 10,000 views, and then no more views. And then, like, three days later, it would get, like, another 1,000 views. And all, all in one jump. <laughs> And then some days it's like I upload it and I get immediate 2,000 views within like five minutes and then nothing. Uh, it's almost never consistent, <laughs> but there's always trends that it kind of sticks to for like a couple weeks to a couple months. 
it'll stay at that for a little bit and then change completely. My current one is it's it's an extremely consistent amount of views for a certain amount of time. But I'm sure it'll change again at some point. So it's extremely chaotic. Because it, unlike regular videos, which YouTube will send to the, the, the fan base, the subscribers, or people who are interested in it, uh, and it'll go up slowly. Uh, YouTube Shorts is, it's not recommended to people, it's pushed into their live feed. So it'll test out a video short by sending it to like a certain amount of people. So it has like one giant vertical jump in views. And then it'll stop, and then maybe we'll do it again later. And then sometimes it grows slowly. Hi, Sarna. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, and that's, I think it does the same exact thing for live stream. Uh, views. Um, but on like a shorter basis, like while I'm live, it'll be like, it'll average out to whoever's just watching. And then every now and then, like every 10 minutes to 20 minutes to an hour, it'll just jump up in a lot of live viewers because it just recommended it to more people suddenly. And it'll go back down and then it'll go back up and stuff like that. It's all, it's all completely random. I'm sure there's some madness to the random like some algorithm specifics that knows what it's doing but who knows looks random looks random this taco won't die okay <laughs> uh gain one percent crit buff every five seconds if uh, taking damage i took it it's half the buff um, no 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 I should have read what the Awakened does. We're about 30 views away on this live stream to 1,000 views, which is kind of crazy for a live stream. I'm not going to lie. I'm actually, this is the reason why I'm doing uh, vertical live streams, because they do better than regular live streams for me. Because all of the uh, random people it gets recommended to and pushed into their feed. Uh, the average view count is way, way higher, and my peaks are way, way higher. Oh, I just forgot to tell you uh, when I watched Fuamoko stream karaoke and they were singing Silent Hill by Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> I, I saw clips of that, uh, the, of the singing. It was really cool. <laughs> it was really cute, too, which is weird. <laughs> Your avatar was good? Thank you. I appreciate that. My, my VTuber avatar is a pre- made avatar that I purchased. Um, anyone can technically purchase this. I actually have a link in the description to the creator. Uh, so you can go to them and purchase it yourself if you want. It's free for everybody. My, I had changed the colors a little bit. I'm more purple, um, where the main one is like blue, the like sky blue. But it's, uh, it's a purchasable for basically anybody. Since I have Uber Sheep, I might as well go for that, like the super collab. Oh, money. Yago! Yago! Do you support anti furry? I don't know what that means specifically. <laughs> I'm on my way to super collab. Yaga, 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 Mia, yeah, Yaga. Thank you. <laughs> we need to get a little boy a real VTuber model so he can become a man and not <laughs> mainly man, just a man. <laughs> I am looking into it. I will say, um, it's something I will do eventually, or rather, it's something I definitely want to do. Um, but I don't want to like cheap out on one. I want to get a decent one. Um, like I don't want to downgrade from what I'm currently using. And this is, this is a really good model. Um, and I'm not even using it to its full capability. 
because I'm just using a camera to record my face tracking. I don't have an iPhone. If I had an iPhone, my, my facial tracking would be way better, way more emotive, but I just don't have an iPhone, and I don't really want to drop like $200 on a refurbished like iPhone. Uh, I use a, I use Android for the most part, so I just don't have an iPhone. I, I know what furry is. It, it's fine. I'm not into it, but like, to each their own. Um, should I the glow? I have glow stick. I should probably collab the glow stick with something. Can the glow stick go with poke type? I'm gonna want lava bucket for the spider cooking. No. I can get glow stick and and beam, I guess. Oh, I'll be fine. Uh, but yeah, so eventually I, I will get another VTuber model. Oh, uh, that's for me that I that I get, but it's it's really difficult. Because I need to find an artist that will make the model, that'll make the like the design and everything, that I need to find a person that will take that and uh, and rig it. And that's really, really expensive to get like a decent one. Like I can probably go like a, the cheap version of that is like five hundred dollars. Or like okay. Um, there's like a service. I forget what it's called, but I follow them on Twitter. Oh, I'm going to just grab that. Uh, and it's like for like a really good one where everything is kind of like taken care of. Like you buy a package and they have an artist make it and, uh, uh, and then, and, and then rig it. It's like $5,000, but they look really good. <laughs> so maybe that eventually, but like, I want to buy a house, man. <laughs> I want to buy a house. I can't. I can't drop five thousand dollars on a on a hobby. <laughs> I can't do that right now. I can probably get away with buying one for like a thousand dollars for like a decent one, but it's still a lot of process. To like, oh, lava bucket, nice. To like, get everything done, and I don't know how to find people to make it. Besides, like, going on Fiverr and finding people but that can be kind of iffy i don't know i'll take the cutting board sure so it's a process it'll happen eventually probably but i don't know when probably not for a while my honestly my real priority is buying a house so if that's gonna happen before i get a v2 for model so it could be like a year two years three but this this works this works i like this model i got super super used to it it's super cool super nice i love it and I actually weirdly think it's pretty cool that there are other people out there with this model. I feel like they're my brothers. <laughs> it's interesting to see how people like will uh, change the colors. I think I saw someone that was like they changed the main colors to, like red and blue, and it was like half and half. It was really cool. Can I sing something? Probably not. Not a very good singer. I have. Hey, listen. If you want to hear me sing, I got some cover songs. <laughs> I did a cover of um, King and oh, what's the other song called? Oh, it's been so long. I forget what it's called. <laughs> I did metal cover of King. That's the main one. There's two. I forgot. I just forgot the second one was called. It's been like years. Well, that just sounds way too reasonable. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm a reasonable guy. Most people who I know IRL will be like, yeah, I'm very responsible. I'm very reasonable. I, 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 I think things through and I, I come up with like the most reasonable response to things. I'm very good with my money. I don't spend it on extravagant things. Like when I do spend it on like on expensive stuff, it's something that I'm going to be using for a very long time. Uh, something that I use every day. Like, I made sure I had a good couch because I'm on it when I'm watching shows and stuff in my living room when I'm relaxing. I made sure I had a really nice bed because I'm sleeping on it every night. Um, I didn't want to cheap out on a PC because I use it every day. So I spend decent money on that kind of thing. Um, but, like, I don't 
eat out every single day. I don't spend money on like extravagant clothing. Um, I, I just save my money because I, when I when I buy something, I want it to be like a one-time purchase, or at the very least, a purchase that's gonna take a very long time before I have to buy another one. So like, my PC I got was pretty expensive, but I shouldn't have to buy one in for a very long time because it's it's gonna hold up for a while. And that's all that really matters. Here's your gamer touch. Do you touch grass? I mean, yeah, <laughs> not often, but I do. I mostly don't touch grass. For the most part, no touching grass, but it does happen. Uh, the, the, like the main thing is, I'm in my small town. There's not much to do besides going to like a bar or a club. Uh, everything around here has to do with drinking, and I'm not a big drinker. Like I do drink alcohol. Uh, I do it mostly socially, which would be going to a bar. But like, none of my IRL friends are like bar hoppers. We did it a couple of times in our early 20s. Um, when I was back from college or done with college, we did it a couple of times. I was actually, uh, weirdly, I was starting to get into the bar scene right after I graduated college because I was back home. I was with my friends. I'm like, let's do this. I'm usually introverted, but I want to go out. I want to drink. I want to have fun. And then like three months later, the pandemic started. <laughs> so I couldn't do that anymore. And then I lost interest, and I got too old. <laughs> I'm 27 right now. I feel like I shouldn't be going out to bars and clubs, because I'm too old. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what do I even get right now? Let me... I don't think... I need something for the... Cutting board. curse which I don't have up right now I don't think I need the water so I'm going to eliminate the water for legal purposes Andrew is banned from touching grass if you want to know more to find out his old shorts oh I forgot about that <laughs> I completely forgot about that <laughs> that's funny you have friends? I do. My roommate is one of my friends. And not that like, oh my god, he's my roommate, so I became friends. He was my friend, and then we became roommates. <laughs> um, there's so many bats on the screen. I'm out of beverage. My throat is getting sore. We'll probably call it a stream after I'm done with this run with Mel. I've been going for about three hours. It'll be about three hours when we hit uh, the end of this. Made a decent amount of progress. Got a bunch of wins on characters. So I'm pretty happy with our results currently. We'll have to come back and do more Hollow Cure. I don't know when. Maybe Tuesday. I think I want to live stream this Sun. I said it earlier, but I think I want to do a live stream this Sunday. Let me see what that did. Um, and watch and catch up to Hollow Cure. No, not Cure. I made the same mistake earlier. <laughs> I want to catch up to Hollow Gra on a live stream. So we might do that this Sunday. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, let me get rid of this re-roll I didn't get stuff I was looking for might as well fill out my item slot so I don't keep getting things so I might do that but we'll, we'll go and catch up to Hologra on Sunday on a live stream which I'm looking forward to because I'm pretty far behind on that but I'd like to do that mm. hello some another item to max that out. I actually, I need to max out my lava bucket and 
spider cooking so I can get that super collab. You might have had too much grass. There. I work. I'm not going to say what my job is specifically because I try to keep that private, but I work outside. So, like, I'm constantly touching, like, I like real, I real grass. <laughs> like, I don't work in an office job. I don't work from home. I work outside for the most part. So I'm always outside. Touching real life grass. Touching it in a realist sense. I'm not really looking at my stamps. I'm just kind of upgrading what I have. I feel like at stage one, it's not necessarily as important. Like I'm just doing so much damage regardless. Like, I'm, I'm not even struggling. That's the only thing about doing um, this thing. Like, I'm trying to get all of the achievements by getting all the wins with the girls. Uh, but I don't want to waste my time by doing a harder stage because I'm just going to, again, waste my time. I have to redo it like I did a few times at the beginning of the stream. And I just want the achievements. That's what we're running through. And once I get all the achievements, then I'll start working on the hotter stuff and doing all that kind of thing. That's good. You have a lesser chance to get replaced by your job at Ch Chappie GPT. Yeah, it's pretty much impossible. Now, could automation affect it? Probably. Um, but I would think I have a fairly safe job when it comes to that sort of thing. Wish I got paid more, though. <laughs> I actually, I make a decent salary based on the cost of living in my area. Like, I live in a pretty small town, so cost of living is pretty low compared to most places. So my salary is good. Uh, in a couple, in like, I'll have enough. Theoretically, I could buy a house now and make the payments. Um, like a, not a, like a big house, but just like a starter two bedroom house I could probably get. Um, I would want to wait like a year or so to have a bit more saved to a down payment. This is such riveting information. <laughs> Sorry. Um, uh, but I make enough to, I'm comfortable. More would always be great, though. Like, you know what? <laughs> if I could have, like, fuck, I don't know, <laughs> a five-bedroom <laughs> house with a pool, <laughs> that'd be pretty cool, man. Not quite there. I mean, maybe if I waited, like, five years and have, like, a lot in savings, I could probably do that, but I'm impatient. I'm renting right now. I prefer to own a home. I mean, theoretically, I actually I could have stayed living with my parents. And they were, they were like, you should stay here. You should stay here. You don't pay rent. Stay here as long as you want. <laughs> Save up for a house. It'll be fine. And I'm just like, mom, no, <laughs> I'm approaching 30. I don't want to continue living with my parents. I'm 27, by the way. I'm going to be 28 this year. I'm like, I don't want to hit 30 and be living with my parents. Like, no, no, thank you. <laughs> Especially when I have the means to live on my own. Oh, new things. Um, I don't really want crit stuff, though. Yeah, so I moved out and got an apartment. And I really... I've been out of here almost a year thing on my own well i have a roommate now but regardless uh if i was actually living with my parents i'd have way more money saved up and probably would have been able to buy a house at this point but I feel way more independent so I'm, I'm glad i still did this pretty nice apartment so i'm happy with it mm. oh ian's curse i need that for the cutting board I don't know if I'll necessarily have enough a time to max out the Ian's Curse and the Cutting Board. What's your age? 27. I'm 28 this year. I'm very old. I'm an old man. 
Uh, but I'll be fine. X out. Means curse. 29. Hey, someone near my age. Or 19. Those are very different things. I mean, I'm a software engineer. I can't afford to buy a house without a mortgage, so I, I don't know what sort of happy area you live. Well, I mean, I, I'm going to have to get a mortgage. I can't outright buy a house. <laughs> I, I can't just buy a house. Um, I have to get a mortgage, but I can afford the mortgage is what I'm saying. <laughs> It'd be a very long time if I, before I could just outright buy a house. <laughs> It'd be like very many years. We're not doing the toot right now. In my area, I would say like an okay two to three bedroom, one to two bathroom house will range between like like an okay one, one that's not in like disarray. Or like extremely, extremely showing its age. Like if you took a picture out of the fucking uh, 50s, <laughs> that's what the hat looks like. Looks like, but for the most part, look at that. Um, a house can be like 150 to 250 thousand dollars for like an okay house, which is what I'm aiming at. be able to afford the mortgage for that. I can't get anything extra. I, I need to, I, the 250 would be super pushing it on my end. I would be way more comfortable with like the 200 range. <laughs> Lower the better though. It's curse. I'm getting so many drops right now. Oh my God. And obviously there's houses in my area that are like 500,000 to a million dollars. Uh, but those are very big and I'm one person. <laughs> so I don't, I don't need to go for those ones. I, I, know, I live in a very small town. Um... I guess I can get the idle song to go with the glow stick. I mean, at this point, we only got five minutes left, so I'm, I'm, I don't really need to think about too many collabs at this point. With the bats on screen, it adds so much, like, stuff. On the screen, hard to... Like, what's the enemy? <laughs> We're at 999 views on this live stream. We need one more person to join. <laughs> to get an even 1k. I'll try to do some rerolls to get the uh, Ian's Curse and Cutting Board. I want to see if I can get it to collab by the end. I, I don't necessarily need to, but just a goal to work towards. <laughs> Hey, 1,000. Yay. Let's go. Yatta. Oh, happy birthday. Oh, finally. Jesus, it took so long to find this thing. It could be based on time or a certain level for all I know, but it took a very long time to get it to show up. Ta-ta. God, I almost died. <laughs> That'd be so sad. <laughs> I was like half health suddenly. Oh my god, oh my god. No. 
No. Give me Ian's curse. I just need one more. Yeah, die. Yes. Yes. And give me another golden anvil. I need it. I need it. That's just a regular anvil. I really need that to break. And it's not. I need those to fail. It's gonna be a really hard achievement to get because they're just never gonna break. Fail. I keep saying break. I don't know why I'm saying break. Uh, it, it's just not gonna fail. It's completely random. It might be the last achievement I get. I'm gonna get super unlucky. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, I still have more on the cutting board. I th for some reason, I thought it was max. I'm not sure why I thought it was seven. I don't know if I have enough time to get it. It's whatever, though. I'm not worried about losing. I'm, like, half paying attention, and I'm doing fine. I just want to get glad to get it. <laughs> it's nice to have something to work towards, you know? I mean, I mean, I'm working towards the end, but you know what I mean. In the last minute, it can be a little treacherous, so we'll see. Should just realistic, it would be fine, though. Let me get it here. Look at all that healing I'm getting. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm seeing like 60, 70, and it's all happening like immediately. That's fucking nuts. I'm not even worried about the sticker. Hey, I got it. Now, can I get an anvil in the next 10 seconds? I mean, I still have to kill the boss, but I feel like that's not going to go take very long. Oh. Just for the shits and giggles. Hey. Die, Ame! Die, Ame! Look at my healing. Oh my god. She's frozen, too. She's actually lasting longer than I thought. It's okay. It's only big, small Ame. It's not the real Ame. Where is she? There she is. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'm not actually outputting that much damage, but I just have so much healing that any damage I'm taking is just getting negated like, immediately. Hey, yo. Let's go. All right. Nice. Yatta. 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 All right. All right, so that was a good stream. We actually went for three hours. I was not expecting it to go longer than one hour, if I'm being honest, but that was a good stream. That was a good one. I had a lot of fun. Got a lot of stuff talked about today. Good shit, good shit, good shit. All right, um, so like I was saying earlier, I think I'm probably gonna do a live stream this Sunday where I react to the rest of the hologra that I have not seen. I keep an eye out for that. Um, I might do it around 3 o'clock EST, EDT, whatever it is. Keep the time there. Why isn't this working? I'm clicking a button. It's not working. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn that off. Oh, there's no music right now. I'll play some of my own music. Bump, bada, bump, bump, bump. It's very quiet. Very quiet. 
Okay, that should be more visible. <laughs> that should be more visible. All right. So yeah, stream this Sunday. Allegra reactions. Why can't? Why isn't this working? My thing isn't working. That's so weird. Mm. Uh, I'm trying to hit the edit. What is? Oh, let me just close it out. I'm trying to go to like the redirect thing so I can find someone to redirect to, and to do that I have to hit like the edit button. Um, but I'm hitting it and it's just not activating, which is really strange. It was working earlier, so it's kind of strange that it's not like doing anything right now. It's crazy, bro. Hmm. I guess we just can't do it today. I don't know why. That's really weird. Maybe it's because I'm... I, I can't be because I'm vertical streaming, because I've vertical streamed in the past and I was able to redirect to people. And even just, like, just clicking the edit button, usually would... It's not even just, like, the redirect thing. It brings up a whole panel where I can, like change like the settings for like the a title and the video and uh and tags and stuff like that um even like the monetization stuff but it's just not working even like refreshing it doesn't do anything i wonder if i got, can i access it from my phone i wonder if that would work let me check i've never actually tried Mm, maybe I can't. Probably can't. I'm not seeing anything I can like connect to to the live stream through my phone. All right, well that's not gonna work. Hmm. We try something. Hmm. That's so strange. It was working earlier because I when I looked at I looked at it before to like show you got to like tell you guys who I can like redirect to. Close it out one more time. Maybe it's just like glitching because I have too many things open. So if I try closing some stuff, maybe it'll work a little better. Uh, uh, uh. It's all over there. Technical difficulties. It's just me trying to end the stream. Go live. Just excellent. Clicky click. No? Weird. All right. Well, I guess we're not uh, <laughs> redirecting to anybody today oh well that's super important anyway well thank you everybody for stopping by we had a lot of people show up a lot of gifted subs thank you so much thank you for just also just becoming uh, a, a sub and the super chats and everything like that thank you so 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 much super appreciate it it super helps me being able to, to continue doing this every every cent i get uh, in donations i put right back into streaming and the and time to do it and stuff like that but get better equipment to to make these even even better so thank you so much super appreciate it so uh thank you and i'll see you in the next one